Santa. You want to call my middle name Francis? You don't know. And then it's got nothing to do with me, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Ah! It's Perry Caramel Alive! Thank you for subscribing! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Subscriber Sunday. Yeah, on Subscriber Sunday, what I do is you bring in, you send in your number to either Joey or Hero, uh, and I give you a phone call if, if, if it's in the right order, you know. And and and, uh, and and you know you give me, and then that's if you're a subscriber, and uh, you know you bring up a subject that we want to talk that you want me to talk about on the air, and uh, we'll we'll go through it and, hey, and stuff you know. Perry, I'm sorry, to, Perry, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt Perry. so early, but what is going on with sorry. this camera? Why did you did, did you do something to the camera? What are you talking about? It, it just way too much ceiling space. It's like way too tilted high. Did you move? Did you move it for some reason? I didn't move anything. Well, you must have because it's different than it was on Friday. Whatever. No, no not whatever. Can you turn Whoa. tilt it down, please? Did you I'm move seated. it? T more tilted. More, more, more. There's way too much ceiling height in that frame. What did you do to the camera between Friday and now? Nothing. More. Nothing. More. I did nothing to the camera. All right, that's better. Carry on. Where was I? Uh, subscriber subscriber Sunday. Sunday. Subscriber Sunday is what you do on Subscriber Sunday. Get your number to Joey or Hero uh, if it's in the right order with uh, what's going on during Subscriber Sunday. They will send me the phone number, and uh, my boss, Tom, will tell me to call a number, and I will uh, go through the uh, the list of numbers, and I will call the top number on the top of the list. And then, like I said, we will – and we'll, we'll talk about uh, what, what's on your mind. But now yesterday, you know, I've been having these uh, – I woke up, and um, yesterday when I woke up, the place was black. There was no no electricity at all in my apartment. So uh, I went to check on what's going on, and there was a power outage in the north San Fernando Valley over here, which means everybody north of uh, what? I think it was north of um, Victory or north of Oxnard, just out of power from, from frickin' Woodland Hills, West Hills, all the way east to... Um, I think the entire valley, the north end of the valley, was just out, out of power. And uh, yeah, thank God, thank God it didn't happen on a stream day because we would have been out of power and then we wouldn't have been able to stream. But now, so I, I hung out here for a while and uh, and kept my apartment manager company. And, and I kind of flirted with my manager until uh, 12 noon when she got off of work and the other assistant manager came in to relieve her. So then I, I uh, let my manager go and uh, then I then I uh, got in my car and I felt kind enough to go visit these girls that keep messaging me on Instagram from Cafe Lou in Santa Ana. They've been sending me messages for quite some time now to come down and visit them. So I I drive down to Santa Ana, not far from my old house. And uh, it took a, a good three, three and a half hour drive with traffic and all to get down there. Um, and, and I'm not used to driving to Costa Mesa in three and a half hours, which kind of pissed me off. So I get down the coast of Mesa, you know, three and a half hours. So I figure, you know, hey, well, let me film this fucking thing. So I pull up, you know, and I'm filming the uh, the outside of the place, Cafe Lou on the building. And I go to walk in, and as soon as they saw my cell phone in my hand, 
uh, up comes a, a bikini waitress and and uh, either the, 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 the manager or the boss or the disc jockey or all three in one. He runs up and he goes and grabs the phone out of my hand. And I'm like, well, well what the fuck are you guys doing? And they want to, well, you got to delete this. We can't have this on your phone. So I was pissed. I was fucking pissed. I came all the way down there to Costa Mesa, Santa Ana to fucking uh, visit these girls because they've been asking me to come down to visit them, you know, because they used to live in the area and stuff. Now they can go fuck themselves. I'm not going back down there for to visit them. Kiss my ass. And they still have the fucking nerve to come on my stream or on my on my Instagram to check in with me and, uh, you know, invite me down to, to go see them and stuff. Fuck them. I'm, I'm never going there again. Never going there again. That was, I was pissed. So fuck it. I left there and I, and I started driving back to the 405 freeway. And, of course, right off the 405, uh what did they do they built a humongous fucking office building so you can't see where hooters is they're blocking hooters but if you know where hooters is which is on on the south coast drive you you know you turn you turn north or west into the the uh, south coast drive and then you pull in the parking lot and there's hooters so i went in the hooters and i got myself a shirt now my size because i'm growing still uh, from a large to a double extra large, and I got a, a real nice uh, Hooter shirt. At least it was a half decent day. I, I picked up a. Should I go show the shirt? I, I I really don't need to, but you can show it if you want. But before you do that, before you do that, um, yes, sir. Just just walk me through it. So you go in there, and uh, they grab. I'm the holding phone. my I'm holding my phone like this. As I right. walk in, and they immediately ran up to me and grabbed the phone out of my hands. Well, who grabbed then, it? Because the, wo uh, the woman didn't. The woman didn't grab it. Who grabbed? Who actually grabbed it? The 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 disc jockey boss of the facility. He grabbed it and then uh, gave it to her because uh, she was more knowledgeable on how to erase it off my phone without fucking and, it, and then did they throw you out did they ask you to leave and then they immediately threw me out yeah like how did that that go did they 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 tell well, you well they, they did it politely they they politely said that i had to leave okay so they did delete i didn't the... want to start any bullshit and i, I just it's fine fine this was a wasted trip okay now to be fair there's a couple of things here on friday's stream i specifically told you not to go down there because i didn't know to what degree uh, these people were, you said these people were contacting you and I said, you know, that might not be like, were they directly messaging you or are these just public posts that you thought was a direct thing to you? Like, like, were they specifically inviting you down there? They, 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 they were flirting with me, inviting me down. Okay. In, in what way though? How were they flirting with you? I mean, girls, pictures and stuff. You on know, your main advertising cafe Lou and, and things on your main Instagram feed yeah okay well all right um so again I, I I did tell you not to go down there but you did and when you came home you still had no power but we were able the to power came on what was it 8 eight thirty last night something like that but we 8 were eight thirty but we were able to restore the video because when you delete a video on a Samsung phone it goes to a recycling bin and all you had to do is go in there and restore it so we do have the video. I just don't want to get in trouble. For soon. You're not going to get in trouble. Um, so I'd like to play it. Now, the, the video doesn't show a lot because it doesn't show you getting thrown out. But just to give context, let's take a look. Now, and, and I, also, I also like this because they tried to delete your video and now, you know, now we have it. So. Just pulling into the parking lot where Cafe Lou is here in Santa Ana, That's California. Right there. Not too yeah. far away from my old apartment when I lived down here in Costa Mesa, but this is Cafe Lou. Let me pull in and park, then go inside and introduce myself. Cafe Lou, wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Boy, there it is, Cafe Lou. All right, let me roll my windows up, and grab myself a coffee indoors, and 
visit with the girls and have fun. Okay, this is it, man. Cafe Lou. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Here I am. Okay, okay. Cafe Lou. All righty. Turning up the car alarm. I noticed you're wearing the Perry Curville Live shirt. Inside. Yeah, exactly. They know who I am immediately. Cafe. Oops. Notice the public. There we go. Here we go. We're inside Cafe Lou. Hi. Can I? What? Can you put your phone away? Can you put your phone away? Oh. Sorry guys, I cannot videotape. It's just such bullshit. What a bitch. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, put my phone away. It's... Okay, it's it... They were they 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 said put your phone away and then they deleted it what was on my phone. So Oh well. Oh well. Nothing special. What can you do? I noticed too. Back, that's all. I know that. Yeah, and you took more. Vi there was more video to that. You took more video as you were leaving, and then when you went to Hooters, uh, that's on that's on Patreon. If people want to check that out, I, I didn't want to show that whole thing. But you went to Hooters and you stopped yourself from filming right before the door. Is that because you didn't want to get burned again and uh, you were afraid? Um. Yeah, exactly. So I'll I'll go grab the shirt. I I put it in the wash because it was sweating like a pig. Let me go. Right. Let me go get the shirt. All right, right back. quickly, please. Here's the front of the shirt where it says Costa Mesa. Hooters Costa Mesa. And then here's the back of the shirt. Well, at least some at least something good came out of that out of that uh, yeah, three hour drive. Good came out, so. Yeah, you, you got a yeah. you got a shirt from Hooters. Right. I went to visit my Hooter girls. And I got a shirt from Hooters. So Uh, so Cafe Lou can kiss my ass, but Hooters, I love that place. Love every Hooters that I've been to, and I still uh, visit Long Beach Hooters as much as I possibly can so when I'm at, free. At what point did they turn on you? Because um, they saw this. No, no, but in, that, but in the video, went, but, but in, but at in what the point did Cafe Lou turn on me? They saw me filming. No, they but... saw me walk in like this. No, that's not exactly true, because in the video, which we just saw, the woman was fairly decent with you, and she just asked you to put the phone away. So at what point from when you put the phone down uh, t did it turn ugly, is what I'm asking, because it, it, I didn't catch any of that in the actual video. Well, they they immediately said put the, put the phone away, and then the, the DJ guy ran up to me and he grabbed the phone out of my hands. He says you got to delete that. So he asked you to delete it, or did they take it from you and delete it? He grabbed the phone out of my hands and says, "We got to delete that." Okay. So they were rude about it. Yeah, they were very rude about it. Once you put the phone down what? after she asked, did you did you continue filming, or that what we saw was it? No. But. You could see exactly what it was. You know, she said, stop filming, and I stopped. And then right from that moment when they said, stop filming, he came up and he grabbed the phone out of my hands. And I says, hey. And then I, he says, uh, says that's got to be deleted. And then she grabbed it out of his hands and, uh, and deleted it. I says, be careful with what you're doing on my phone. I got a lot of things on there. 
So why why did it take three hours to get down there? It's not a three hour drive. Traffic. It's just traffic. Traffic. It's called LA traffic. It's normally a ninety minute drive, but you know when there's traffic like like it is, it, it's insane. When no traffic is is uh, is uh, on the road, it's a ninety minute drive. So I used to go back and forth in the middle of the night when I would work. Uh, from, well, when I first moved back to the valley from uh, from uh, Costa Mesa, and I had to drive down to uh, work when I was working at uh, Lucky's Market in Costa Mesa before my transfer came through. I would leave the valley at like 5 a.m. to be at work by 6, and i just make it on time. Hey, before, just real, before we get started, uh, it's an it's unusually dark in there for twelve noon. Is there another light you can kick on or something? Open that very very slightly. Very be very slight with that. That ooh, that's good. That, no, see that's too much. You were good earlier. That, that's too much. Go down, down. That's that's good. Where you have it now is good. I don't know why you made it more after I said it was good. No, see now it's worse. Go back back like that i can live with that yeah good okay that's good okay yeah it's gonna get it's gonna get real bright around uh the three four o'clock hour my time thank you for subscribing sorry for Like I said, Perry, I'm taking a trip to NYC and will be enjoying the stream as I drive. Let it fly and let's have a high energy stream and let's have o o h h. What, what, what does that mean that you're going to New York? And you, well, why are you going to New York and uh, and you're getting in my face about having a high energy stream? I always have a good energy stream. And uh, are you driving from California to New York? That's a drive. He didn't say that. I just asked. Scam Master. I am endlessly inspired by you and your scams. I started a support what group scam? for ex-actors for Disney. My goal is to bank scar Joe and Gina. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, asshole. You're not banging either one of them. Shag off. And what scams do you think I've committed? Nothing I have done is a scam. Nothing. Nothing that went on in my life is a scam. The car accident actually happened, and I spent, you know, three months in the fucking hospital, and it was the worst three months of my life. Call that a scam, motherfucker? Scar Joe, Gina, and every porn star and OnlyFans girl wants support and I'm here for them. As Perry Caravello, failed actor, That's not how you spell my last comedian. name, Jagoff. I'm not a failed actor or comedian or a failed skateboarder. Nothing failed in my life. And nor am I a failed snowboarder because I've only snowboarded twice. I'll be snowboarding this winter. Nothing is failed in my life. The only thing that has failed is is uh, is uh, my my uh, school grades and uh, <clears throat> my my uh, my my rollerblades, the my past rollerblades, because they were so old. And now now here's here's the proof of the arm. So, oh yikes. That's that's the bruise from falling the other day. Yeah. Can you explain what happened exactly again? With the, I with... I lost my balance and I slipped back. And like right, an idiot, what... I I put my hand behind me. But what were you doing at the time? Dumping trash with my blades on. Why would you take out garbage? I'm assuming it was a heavy bag of garbage with roller blades on. Why would you do that? Uh. 
I don't know. I don't know. I just I put on my blades and. But but why you put on your rollerblades to actually go rollerblading? You would think that you would save the errand do, uh, running of uh, throwing out a bag of trash till later, or do it before you put the blades on. Why would you? Because that throws off your balance. Now when you have a hefty garbage bag in your hand, uh, you that, are complete- now now the dumping of the bag. The bag was already thrown in the garbage bin way before I fell. I right, fell you- after I threw it in the garbage bin. And, and started to skate towards the building. Right, but I think that definitely there was a cause and effect there of you uh, throwing there had tra- no, There was no cause and effect of throwing the garbage ban- bag in the trash. The cause and effect was I lost my balance forward, and instead I fell backward. How long after you threw the bag while wearing ska- uh, rollerblades did you fall? How long? I would say I would say about three or four seconds. Okay, then my case is proven. Your case is not proven because it's got nothing to do with it. Yes, it is because of the momentum and of you. Th- your fucking philosophy had nothing to do with me falling backwards. You throwing a heavy bag of trash while wearing rollerblades absolutely. Uh, I will say, led to, in some way, whatever, you f- whatever, you falling whatever, backwards. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care. I'm alive. I will get well, okay? Okay. So, do you think maybe in the future, when you get back on the rollerblades, and hopefully it's not when they disintegrate, that... Uh, maybe you shouldn't be carrying uh, things of trash and you should just... Garbage. No, no, I'm not going to be doing that again. Okay, thank you. This scam is so good. I host meetups at Hooters. I got a girl that used to be roomies with Gina. I'm going to bang her soon. As Perry Caravello. Ha ha ha. Whoever the fuck you're dealing with is scamming you, douchebag. Roommates with Gina. Yeah, right. And, 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 and you're trying to pretend you're me at Hooters, you motherfucker? Go fuck yourself. You're not allowed to be me. Only I am me. Piece of shit. Perry, thanks for sending me this copy of Monetics. Fantastic book that changed my outlook on life. Can't wait to show all my Hollywood friends. I didn't send you a Moen Drips book. God, you're... I would never send a stupid Moen Drip, Moen Drip book. Give me a break. Throw that fucking book right in the trash. Evil bastard. Snort. I need 25 more subs to hold my next VA-thon on Saturday. Snort. I need you to tell your fans to step up. Snort. Tipping helps the most. My fans! My fans will not go to you. My, My- your fans are coming to me. They're not going from me to you. Your fans can't stand you because all you are is a fucking liar, beggar, and cheater. You lying, begging, thieving bastard. Snort. No, I want no one to be snorting cocaine like you are. Snort. You fucking moron. Oh, take your snorting somewhere else. Fucking imbecile. Sarah showed me the Monetics book you sent her. Fascinating stuff. How can I get my own copy? Do I contact this address in Barstow? Oh, God. Please. Stay away from that fucking guy. Throw away that fucking book. 
It's all demonology and evil garbage. Get that book and send it. Burn the book, actually. Burn the book. Don't and don't go anywhere near this this fucking mowing drip piece of shit. He's a fucking animal. Trying to fucking take take all my friends and fans and brainwash them and 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 uh, have them go to his his idiotic compound in Barstow and fucking get brainwashed by this fucking guy. Please. Stay away, stay away, stay away from his fucking compound. We are proud to announce Johnny Pretzel's company is the official snack company of Perry's Banana Blowout Party 5 p.m. next Saturday at 7,722. Oh, yeah, You're not allowed here! Fucking asshole! Banana blood or any party. Yeah, fucking all you want to do is throw parties at my apartment complex. What is that allowed? Hey, let's get to the first call of subscriber Sunday. I sent it to you already. Oh. Ugh. Fuck. Excuse me. Hello? This is Perry Caravel live. Who am I speaking with, please? Who's this? Perry Caravello live. Gary Parabello? What? You said this is Gary Parabello? Perry Caravello live. The My internet Sarah show. It's Gary Master. That's me. And, I, and who wow. am I speaking with, please? My name's Alex. Alex? My yeah, pleasure. Right. Oh, how are you, sir? Hey, thanks for calling. I'm, I'm sure. Good. Hey, if I'm if I'm nervous, uh, you know, I'm not real used to talking to big stars, so hopefully I don't seem too nervous. Okay, well, all right. Don't be I, nervous. I you got no steak. reason I'm, to be I'm nervous. Getting... You're just you're getting yeah, a phone I, I call. I, just, I want a sweet steak. I'm getting a call from Robert De Niro later today, so I'm kind of on edge. Hey, I, I really like the stream. Thank I'm you. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I, you very I, much. It's really cool to see you finally getting the... Uh, success that you deserve thank you, know? you thank you thank you yeah but i love it all you guys are doing a great job over there thank you thank you thank you really, i wanted really to ask you Perry, if you don't mind talking about it uh i know that you got to like you were banging uh victoria gibbons what was that her? yeah back yeah back in the day sure uh, early 2000s it was, uh, Lin linda johnson she was in hustler right linda johnson was my upstairs neighbor as well as a neighbor down so, the block I know a lot of the shit that, you know, I see a lot of stuff on the internet. I don't know how much of it's true, you know, but they were, they were trying to get you to do some porn or something or. Some time ago. Yeah. I, I think those guys make some, some pretty decent money. I, I don't know if that would have been a good, like, uh, because, or? because of me, <clears throat> because of me being a member of the Screen Actors Guild and after uh, me being involved and porno would not would not be good. Oh, it's a yeah. it's a sag thing. Right, it's a it's a screen okay. actors guilty. And they and they got no they got no wiggle room on that. Right, exactly. Okay, you know what? If you don't mind, I'll tell you a story that kind of might shed some light on that. So I used to work. <clears throat> I'm an old man now, but when I was a kid, you will like this. So I used to work at a skate shop in Dallas, Texas. It was a uh, J for K skate. I worked there like when I was in high school. Okay, and uh, it was a pretty cool job, but. <clears throat> Man, those fucking kids in there were just fucking running wild, dude, going crazy. They'd do fucking nose grinds on the fucking monkey bars. They'd be doing fucking big twists into the fucking ball pit, all kinds of shit. But anyway, the guy who ran the place, <clears throat> he was a total fucking asshole piece of shit. So when I got hired, my hair was real long. I was like a rocker back then. I used to right. just like ACDC, metallic, and that kind of shit. Okay. <clears throat> but anyway, so I was working there. About two years later, this motherfucker... He was giving me shit because I got long hair. And 
he's gonna fire me. He's, he's like, oh, you look like a fucking, you look like a dumbass Italian. I'm like, dude, the guy was a total piece of shit. <laughs> he called, I couldn't believe he called me an Italian. But anyway, uh, he fucking, uh, I ended up keeping my job because I made the argument that, well, you hired me. I had long hair. How are you going to fire me for having long hair now? So maybe if you talk to these SAG people and tell them how you got into SAG, maybe there's like a grandfather clause there. No, it's got nothing to do with it. It's got nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing to do with it. Well, didn't you, didn't you blow some? I blow nobody. Good day. We're done with this conversation. No, 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 no. Fuck you, you bastard. No, 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 I'm sorry. Fucking asshole. Perry, Perry, Perry. Watch your fucking mouth. No, I'm sorry. Maybe I got that wrong. I just. Fucking Uh, jag off. Before I let you go here, I was at the uh, 7-Eleven and I got a bag of these. I guess they're called Johnny Pretzel. Pretzel? Whatever. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I know nothing about them. They got you on the front, but it says something about a banana blowout party next Saturday. There's no parties. Again, how many fucking times do I have to announce there are no fucking parties at my building ever, 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 ever? Good day, goddamn you! Motherfuckers, there's no fucking parties here! Son of a bitch! Okay, once again, we're off to a bad start with the subscriber calls when you hang up. fucking party bullshit! Okay, there's nicer ways to convey that, though. You know, maybe he just didn't know any better. You don't have to hang up on the guy. Fucking shag-offs. All right. Thank you for introducing me to your publicist, John Diaper. He saved my life. I was in so much pain until John introduced me to heroin. Hashtag needle sub. What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't introduce you to a guy named John Diaper. He did what he could to get you brought there. Okay? Whoever the fuck kidnapped you and brought you to John Diaper it has nothing to do with me. Don't ever say I introduced you to John Diaper. It's a fucking lie. Scam artist, son of a bitch. The guy's nothing more than a scam artist and a demon worshiper. So fucking stay away from, stay away from him and stay away from me. He doesn't represent me. He never will. And uh, I want nothing to do with him. I actually want him and his name blocked. Could you real quick just go over to behind your couch and do that thing where it looks like you're walking downstairs behind it. Get the party going. That would be fun. You know, you know how that works, where you you look like you're kind uh, of, kind of act like you're uh, walking downstairs. So you go behind the couch, right there is good. Right there. Try that again, but really go all the way down. That's good. Let's try it again. Try it from the other side. Try it from starting. Move up a little bit. Try it from right there. No, no, back up. Try it from the other angle. Move up a little bit. Yeah, no, you give. You see, you're giving away the trick. You, you gotta move. You gotta start. You gotta start with the couch covering you. There you go. Let's go. Can you now? Now do it from the other direction, going back. No, 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 no sneaky pee. No, please finish this before the sneaky pee. No, no sneaky pee. Ricky Horny, Ricky Horny. Ricky Horny, Ricky Horny. Ricky Horny.
I start, start down low and then I go back up. So now you want me to go back downstairs from here? And then poof. I actually really believe that you uh, fell. That was good. Oh, you fucking asshole! You motherfucker! You want to end this fucking stream now? You son of a bitch! Wait, what happened? Fucking end this stream right the fuck now! You motherfucker! What you happened? Shit to me again? What happened? I fucking for you made me fall down, and I fucking hit my shoulder. You son of a bitch! I didn't mean you to really fall down, and we were doing. You didn't have to go uh, full method. You just uh, sorry. Not gonna fucking happen again, cocksucker. Oh, this is the bruise that finally showed up. As I saw in the shower. You know, when I said when, when I said fall, I thought you would like not really throw yourself into it. You know, I mean, it's, I, I don't know. You when I go and do something, I do it all the way. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, that reminds me not to not to give anything away, but uh, when you were doing the adult swim shoot, when you were doing the uh, f for the smiling friends episode that's going to come out, right, right. I don't want to give any plot details away, but there there is a stunt involved, like a pretty right. big stunt, where you have to throw yourself down, and you did it so hard that you stunned everybody in the room, including the producer, director, and all the camera. <laughs> All the camera people were like, whoa, 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 that is really going, you're really going for it, <laughs> you know, so I forgot about it. I want it. the job, that's why. Well, you already had the job, but there was there was a yeah. stunt, and you, like, I mean, you I, really. I went, I did the stunt, I did the stunt. But you slammed it in a way that, like, even the cameras couldn't cover it, because you just, you went, <laughs> it's hard to explain, like, you, fa you were I supposed to kind of. Yes, you went overboard, but, okay. so I should, I should have known that. I, you know. This is a skateboarding poll. Which skater was better in their prime and more likely to go pro? Press 1 for Perry Caravello. Press 2 for Avril Lavigne. Avril Ever Le Lavigne? Who the fuck is that? It would have been me if I didn't uh, almost lose my life in my auto accident. I don't know. Never heard of that person in 79. Never. Maybe in the 80s, I, that person could have could have gotten known. I mean, because it was like after my accident and after I came home from the hospital and stuff, I started seeing Tony Hawk's picture in the uh, skateboarder magazines. And he was a little kid at the time, too. <clears throat> but uh yeah let me turn that back on uh, how many times today are we going to be up and down with the air conditioner can you set it to a place oh, maybe I'll leave it on I'll just leave it on I'll just leave it on because it's going to be about 100 today so I just that's the alarm. Oh, by okay. the way, you had uh, you had Sheila scheduled uh, yesterday. I I'm assuming you had to cancel that because of the power outage. Yeah, as well as uh, she she her and her husband went and did, did uh, a beach day, nice. something they don't normally don't do on Saturdays because she's normally working on Saturdays.
but they did a beach day yesterday. Nice. So it's it's very good that the two of them uh, got together and went to the beach and you know hung out what, with each other. What time did you actually get your power back on? Eight thirty last night. Oh wow! So it's really a good yeah. thing that that happened on uh, on a Saturday and not a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because if it would have happened today, we we wouldn't have uh, the stream today. We'd be fucked. You know what? What happens Randy happens. Randy Brand Snacks would like to express our anger for the scam master the Italian piece of shit screwed us out of the banana blowout party sponsorship. Well, well, what the fuck are they talking about? Because I never screwed anybody over. There is no fucking sponsorship going on on something that's never going to fucking happen. Meaning a fucking party. There's never going to be a party at my apartment complex ever 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 you lying motherfuckers god damn stop that shit you want to have a party at the beach you want to have a party at the beach never in my apartment complex fuck hey perry can you clear this up please there, there's people clear what up? there's people contacting me saying that we're in the midst of a shoulder scam and they're saying that the they're saying that that's makeup. That's ma They're saying that's makeup. Ow! That's not a fucking makeup jag off! How could that be makeup that's black and blue? And the shoulder is all fucked up from me, from me reaching backwards like a fucking imbecile rather than just falling on my butt. Right. So there's no shoulder scam. Oh. I'm just going to put that to rest. There's no shoulder scam? No! Fucking okay. way! How could there be a shoulder scam? I Perry, like that's, why, that, that's why I, I went to the source. Like assholes! God. I've been kidnapped. The last thing I remember is a cow-faced man. Please help find me. Cow-faced man? There could be a lot of people. There could be a lot of people. I, I I don't know what to say. I don't know who you are. Please help find you. Well, contact the police. Don't be contacting me. I'm just a, an internet host of an internet show. Call Perry Caravel Live. I, okay, get somebody to get in contact with the uh, local police department in your in your uh, where you live. If it's LAPD, it's LAPD. If it's uh, Chicago PD, it's the Chicago PD. If it's New York PD, it's NYPD. You know, if it's Boston, if it's uh, Florida, if it's Louisiana, I mean, wherever you live, get the local police department to to uh, um, find you. Get somebody to fucking search for you. Private investigator or something, because I'm not a I'm not a, a law enforcement person or a private investigator or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I was involved with Deputy Auxiliary Police Officer when I was a 12-year-old kid for like six months. but uh, And then my mom moved me out to Palm Springs to get me away from my asshole brother, the, the fucking crook. <sighs> anyway. If you like the cut of Perry's jib, give me a hell yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin, what the fuck is jib? If you like the cut of Perry's jib, well, 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 explain yourself, man. Fuck. What is jib? The next Perry Carvello Live support group for Fire Disney actresses is Wednesday at 8 p.m. at Club Lou. Free for Gina C, ScarJo and OnlyFans girls. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because there's no event going on anywhere ever that, uh, and there's no, 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 no. Stop pretending to be me. Stop saying that you're me. Stop spelling my name with a K. Trying to say that you're me. 
They're all bullshit. Hey, Perry, we're getting ready to, to do the next call, but uh, I was thinking, do you want to call Cafe Lou and kind of express yourself on how you were treated based on... No, I, 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 no we're done. We're done. What happened there happened there and big fucking deal. Okay, we're done. Right, but maybe maybe you can brag about how... No, I don't want to talk to them. I, I, we're done. Um, just Goodbye. Let me get this... okay, Perry, I just want to get this out. Uh, maybe you can brag about how we recovered your video after all. That, you know, like, hey, you thought you deleted Forget my video? Forget it! Forget it! Forget it! We're done with those fucking losers, okay? Forget it! All right, I sent you the next number for Subscriber Sunday. Fuck! I don't want to talk to those animals. Mean motherfuckers. Spend fucking hours on the fucking road going over there to show my love and respect, and then all of a sudden I get treated like shit? Fuck that. And then they think that I treated them like shit by having my, my cell phone on as I walked into the place. So, But they didn't have a sign on the door saying no, no cameras are allowed, so... Is Perry Caravello alive? Who am I calling, please? Oh, hey, this is this is Perry. That's me. Who am I speaking with, hey, please? I'm, I'm Jeff. I'm Philadelphia. Hi. It's awesome to talk to you, man. I'm a big fan of the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, how are you, how are you doing, hey. Jeff? Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good, Perry. Hey, I don't want to take a lot of your time. I know you got streamed around. You're doing real good today. Thank you, sir. I just wanted to tell you. Just wanted to tell you, we love the stream over here in Philadelphia. Awesome. Me, I got a bunch of my buddies. We all watch us every Friday night. We get awesome. about 20 of us together. We you know, pop a couple brews. That's we nice. Roll out and we appreciate we, it. we put on the stream. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, man. It's really cool. Uh, we, you know, we, we used to play this drinking game where we would take a shot every time you said what, but then my friend Jake got alcohol poisoning, so we had to stop. Um, okay. Uh, that's but, not yeah, good. Well, we all, you know, we all love Windy City Heat. We're big fans, man. Well, good we're, to doing, hear from you. we're doing way better than Windy City Heat. Windy City Heat yeah. was a uh, long time ago. So, Yeah, you you and Tom are the ultimate comedy team. Thank you. You guys are thank doing you. great. Thank you, thank you, thank um, you very much. Thank you. Just uh, real quick before I, before I get off, because, yes, uh, you know, I don't want to take a lot of your time. Uh, I'm thinking, so like I said, a group of us watch the stream every Friday. Uh, can all of us come to your banana blowout party next weekend? What the fuck are you talking about? There's no party here ever. You know what? Whoever keeps trying to say that I'm having a party at my place is out of their motherfucking minds. I live in an apartment building. We, okay? saw, we saw a flyer for it, though. We, we're all coming from Philadelphia. We're going to power yeah, in the a, You're not coming to California to come fucking to a party that I am not throwing. Why, why not? Why do I keep seeing that? Because there's there? no party here. I live in an apartment building. I don't own a fucking private home. God but damn it. You, what? You're supposed to have a pool party every every Labor Day. People have pool parties. That's how we're coming There's out no there for that. There's no pool party here. There's no pool Why party not? here. Again! Why? How many fucking times do I have to tell you I live in an apartment building? Fucking moron. But you have a pool. So what? I got a fucking pool. The building's got a fucking pool for their tenants. So you can't have a party? Not allowed. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to tell my bros then. Uh, they're going to be real disappointed. Too bad. Good day. Okay. All Bye. right. Good talking to you, Perry. Thank you. Bye. Look, ladies and gentlemen, get it through your fucking heads. I'm not having a banana blowout party. I'm not having a pool party. This apartment complex doesn't allow those things. They want this place to be clean. They don't want a fucking wild fucking psychotic party. There's a beach 20 minutes away, 20 minutes away. If you want to have a fucking party, go to the fucking beach and have a fucking party. 
God damn it. There's no party here. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay. Perry, Jay. it's Jay. I will keep donating as many subs as possible. Want you out of debt. I have to skip a few meals every week now, but you are my hero, bud. You don't have to skip meals, Jay. Don't do that to yourself, okay? You don't have to skip meals to uh, send send me money or donate to to uh, my worthy cause and my and my. Uh, I want you to take care of yourself first before you uh, help me out and take care of me but again I'm very thankful to you I'm very honored that you uh, love and love and appreciate this stream and uh, myself as well as my employees on this stream uh, we we all thank you very very much and we're all honored for your uh, your uh, donations thank you Oh. Hey Perry, it's Tina Robinetti again. I just ate four big bites at the 711 on Sadakoi Street. They won't let me use the toilet. Can I come over? Please. No. No, there's an El Pollo Loco down Sadakoi. There's a Carl's Jr. the other way. Go there. There's a Denny's down the street. Go there. There's a McDonald's on, on Sherman Way. Go there. There's a Carl's Jr. across the street from McDonald's. Go there. There's bathrooms all over the place. But you're not you're not coming to my house. Not allowed in this fucking place. I'm not gonna allow anybody in my apartment. If I don't invite you over, you're not allowed here. And don't come banging on my fucking door uh, telling me that you got to use my toilet because I'm just going to, I'm just not going to open it, period. Police were here questioning me about kidnapping DSP henchmen. I was contracted by your publicist John Diaper to bring him to your lair. Jib? There's no, I don't know who John Diaper is face to face. Uh, DSP, I don't know him face to face. So uh, whoever you have over there, uh, as well as a, a henchman, I don't look. I've I've seen this henchman leave shit on my patio and shit and disappear. Be, because I'm not fast as I used to be, uh, he's not getting caught. Um, after three neck surgeries, I'm not I'm not anywhere near as fast as I used to be. Okay, nor do I have the balance that I used to have. Okay. Um, oh shit. Uh, so so this jib shit. I want to know what J I B stands for, or stop saying it. Okay. Thank you, good God, Zoo, for 500, uh, um, what was that, 500 uh, donations? Or cheers, 500 cheers, 500 cheers. Perry, I got an offer for you. Which is? Uh, well, there's two. I'm going to give the small one first. Uh, the first one is from Miss Alchemist says, I will pay Perry $15 if you do the walking down the stairs bit every time you have to go pee during the stream. Not the falling down, but the walking down on your way to pee. If you can do the walking down, okay. you'll get 15 Okay. Can we do that? Thank you. Okay. okay. That's nice. Uh, we're on a roll. 
Now here's the second one. It, it actually coincidentally follows heels on what I suggested earlier. Um, for one hundred dollars, this is a crowdsource. One hundred dollars. You have to call Cafe Lou and de demand an explanation and apology. Okay. I want nothing to do with these. I know. I know. People. Hold on. Hold on. Don't. We're not going to do it yet. Hold on. Is that is that accepted? Yeah. If it's going to pay us a hundred bucks, sure. Okay. Put the phone down. Phone down. Now, there's a caveat here. If the call goes short for whatever reason, like they hang up on you, uh, the backup is to call uh, the Hooters in Costa Mesa and tell them how much better they are than Cafe Luz. Okay, so that could be... In fact, okay. let's, let, let's do both regardless. Let's do both regardless. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, uh, in addition to that, Tolkien offers an additional 15 if you work in the 1992 story to call Cafe Lou. So after you demand the no, apology... No, If you want to admit it, if you say anything about 1992 again, I'll shut my goddamn computer off! Shut it off! Shut the fucking computer off, you motherfucker! So that's a no. Goddamn right! Okay, that's that's fine. I, I, Perry, I, I just had to mention that because it was extra money for you, so... Uh, my apologies. Fifteen dollars. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Um. Let's see. Just that... piss me off again, huh? No. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Um. Let me see if there's another offer here I missed. Uh. Oh, here's one from Slam Harder. Uh, $30 if you take that ass cologne uh, from Friday and rub it onto your... The ass your... cologne is garbage! It's gone! And rub it onto your... Uh, it's fucking gone! Tattoo. I said it's fucking gone! Okay. That shit cologne? Disgusting! I threw it away! Is it actually... I want is it... to smell like shit! Okay. And I don't ever want to smell that shit again. Okay. Um, God damn. Is it still, is it still in the apartment? No. Oh, it's out. Okay. okay. Garbage. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll move on. We'll, so that's accepted. We'll do My that. Was in cosmetics. I know clones. That oh. shit was disgusting. Fair enough. Slash. Moses. Perry, it's your boy Slash. Sitting here with Axel, Duff, Izzy, Dizzy, the snakes and popcorn. Excited for the pool party today. What time is loading at? Never gonna happen, Slash. Sorry, my friend. Never gonna fucking happen. Dude, this is an apartment building. You don't have pool parties in an apartment complex. Okay? I'll get railroaded by the managers, and then I'll get thrown out of here. I am not getting thrown out of here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Fat Rarb here. I noticed you shave the area around your nipples. Is that something you do to look sexy for Dimitri Moreland? I don't. I haven't shaved my chest in quite some time. So, uh, no, it's got nothing to do with Dimitri Moreland. I want nothing to do with Dimitri Moreland. He's a fan. He's a fan. But other than that, I want nothing to do with the scumbag. Sick bastard. No. When I get together with Gina or with Scarlett or with Christina Applegate, uh, and, and, we, and if we're going to be, uh, uh, you know, tonguing each other somewhere or anywhere, whatever, 
I don't want them tonguing all this fucking hair on my chest. Five, thank you for the five subs. Ow. Dude, I, I can't do the hands much anymore, man. This fucking arm is hurting too much. All right, well, we got to come up with something else then in, in place of that. If you're oh, gonna... In place of it for, for a while. Okay, okay well, well, for today at least, what, what, would, you, what would you suggest? Tip, tipping your cap? I'll, I'll, I'll do this and then, the, the, or, or, you know. How about that? How about you do the hands and then tip your cap? We'll, we'll do that. Let's try because it. Because I, I, got, I got the right arm on, on the arm rest of the chair, which is perfect, so I don't have, uh, uh, you know, I, or hang it over. Um, which okay. is good. So it's so I'm let's, not in major um, pain. So let's do the hands and then tip the cap. Let's try it. Thank you for subscribing. <clears throat> okay. Okay. We'll try it. Try it now. Let's try it out. You know, there's the hands. Oh, okay. And we then... used to... oh, okay. 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 Yeah, that's fine. Fans, please stop saying Perry is giving away 5 PS5s, be respectful. Perry is giving away 10 Switches on September 10, 2021. Over $4,000 in prizes. Enter to win. Don't you love all the lies these motherfuckers are doing? Those are all fucking lies. It's a scam. It's bullshit. I'm not giving any of that garbage, any of that stuff away. I'm not going to call it garbage, but I'm just not giving any of it away. I don't have the funds to do that. I'm not being sponsored by these people. When I get sponsorship, I'll have sponsors, and then I'll have fucking commercials on my stream. But until then, I don't, I don't have any of that stuff happening. Hey, Perry, I started shaving my butthole like you told me. I can't spread my cheeks as wide as you wanted, but I'm started trying to fit Mount Fist in it. Oh, you're disgusting. I never said anything like that, you sick bastard. Shave my butthole like, a, like, like you told me. I never said anything like that. I never requested it. I never made a statement like that. I would never ask for a guy to do something like that. That's sick. Fucking gross. Perry, just saw your episode on Hoarders. Your apartment is disgusting. Can't your fake shop vac clean? Hashtag shop vac scam. I was never on Hoarders. You never saw my apartment on Hoarders. Uh, and my apartment is actually, it's, it's out of order by my couch because of all the, all the crap that has been coming in here. Um, and I'm going to tell right now, my boss, if we don't get these pictures out of this house, by the end of September, they're all in the trash. By October 1, they're all in the trash. All these pictures behind me, including all this crap that's over by oh, my Perry, couch. But we, Garbage. Okay, so here's the problem, Perry. Is it's, One it's month. Like, no, all right. I love your demands, Perry. They always work out for you. But uh, the problem is not the quote-unquote pictures. The problem is you accumulate things on your couch. Like when I was there in June and I spent, after we did like an eight hour stream, I spent an additional three hours cleaning up that space specifically. Do you remember that? Yes. Well, well but. You, no, 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 but. no buts, no buts. Right, what's your butt? What, I, I want to hear this butt. But it is filled with shit again. Yes, Why? that's my point. That's Why? my Time out. Because of Time you, out. because of you. Yeah, yeah, because of me, because of one, two, one, two, Three, four, five pictures and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes of shit. Right. That I do but not you don't need. know you don't know how to disseminate the stuff that you actually should keep and the stuff that would obviously be thrown away. Because when I cleaned for three hours, you had stuff that dated back to like January, December that were like junk, like literally empty boxes, empty wrappers, and just that just accumulated in this pile that I got rid of. And I said to you after I spent, and again, 
three hours while you while you napped and while you uh, you know watched me do all this, uh, I said to you, you know, Perry, you really got to figure out when I tell you to keep something from Mailbag Friday, uh, it's to keep it for either content for the stream or to possibly auction off at a later date. And you sort of understood that. Now, if I don't specifically say save that, then that can be thrown away. So obviously at some point during this week, you should go through that area with me on camera, you know, just you and I, and I'll tell you what's safe to throw away and what's not. And that's th something that you should know on your own. But then again, okay. once in a while, you do throw things away everything, that you should save. But everything you keep telling me to save for, for sale. No, not everything. everything see, see sale. that's where you're getting confused. It's not everything. It's like empty. Anyway, we'll go through it during the week, okay? You and I, and we'll, we'll take yeah. care of that. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Really, Scare Master? Keep your jib zipped up on this web stream. Don't embarrass Brennan Entertainment. No, I'm not embarrassing Brennan Entertainment. I'm actually doing what I can to keep my my duty on this stream. Jib. Fucking explain to me. Tell me what J-I-B stands for. Fucking assholes. Give me the definition of J-I-B. Perry, we all think Hero is a hero. Name five things you love about Hero. But not he's good with computers or his cool name or is lovable and respectable. Uh, to start with, he's very good on my stream. He, uh... Helps the crowdsource uh, um, for for streaming, and I. Uh, and uh, well, um, Joey and Hero, they they both do do good jobs. Um, three more. Um, for my stream, he's he's a respectful guy. Uh, we get along on on the internet. Um, 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 um uh, I, I tell him to block people, and he he does it for me. But uh, then there's times that uh, they they uh, don't block block like uh, this Ricky Horny scumbag. And then again, he can also uh, add his name over and over and over again in in different ways. So that's what he keeps doing. That piece of shit. You son of a bitch, I should sue you for every fucking penny you're worth, you motherfucker. Does the name Jansen Payne ring a bell to you, baby? Jansen Payne? I don't know who the fuck you are. Sue me for what? Fucking... <sighs> I didn't, we never had an auto accident, you piece of dog shit. And why would you sue me? I'm not a rich guy to be sued. Oh, brother. Chance and pain. My money's my money, so, you know. And again, I'm not a rich person that you to, 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 uh, that I hope to become rich from uh, my streams, but that's going to take time. But, uh, and I don't drive a fucking Kia. I only drive Toyota. And soon I'm going to have a new Toyota 4Runner. There, okay? No, I'm not going to get a Shelby Mustang and a Shelby truck. 
Sorry, my cousin said you sucked. Well, I told him that you have sucked and sucked many cocks, just not Randy's cock. You're known as the blank cop, cock gobbler. I guess the name of your city. Oh, your name God. Is like... No, I do not suck. No, I will never suck. And I'm not that kind of a guy. Okay? Just to reiterate, the uh, town, the city that Perry lives in, is a block term. So if you use that, it's not going to be read on the by the TTS. Thank you, Thank you for blocking the, the name of my my city. Well, that was done a long time ago. Los Angeles, okay, big deal, the big town. Perry, you seem nice. Yeah. Next time the power goes out in your apartment, come by and we'll light candelabras together. Are you awesome musical? Dude, that that that's an honor. Um, I don't have your address. I don't know where you live. Uh, but that is an honor. Thank you for uh, for inviting me over. I appreciate that. Thank you. Candelabra. Sheesh. Actually. I don't know if, if did the power go out by you in uh, in the Beverly Hills area, or do you live here in the Valley? Because uh, there's still a lot of uh, celebrities that still live in the Valley. Hey Perry, let's get to the next subscriber Sunday call. I just sent it to you. Okay. Okay. Have I called this number before because it appears familiar? I believe so. Hello? This is Perry Caravello Live. Who am I speaking with, please? Hey, man. It's Frank in New Orleans. Hey, Frank. How you doing down there in New Orleans, man? I hear there's a storm going through by you guys. Uh, yeah. I'm standing in a fucking hurricane right now, dude. It's great. Ugh. I hope you're uh, like like in a basement or you're somewhere protected. Fuck no, I'm not. I'm I'm standing on my porch and there's like 150 mile an hour winds right now. I Dude, get your fuck, get your ass bro. in the house, dummy. <laughs> fuck oh, no, I don't give a fuck. How you doing, man? I'm alive and I want you to be alive. So get your ass in the house. You don't give a fuck. No, I give a fuck. I care about you and I care about your life and your family's life. So get inside and get uh, shelter. Jesus. Did you hear the wind? I'm fucking on the porch, bro. It's all good. So, um, hey, so I was just going to ask you about, like, Gina and all those people that are in Barstow. Do you remember it? I, I don't believe that they're in Barstow. I seriously don't. You don't think so? You think I, it's all right? I, I don't know. Well, Gina, Gina's... Uh, Got another film role that uh, is coming up for her, uh, Christina. I have no clue about Christina and her daughter. That they could be be in Barstow. Um, but Gina, I don't. Yeah. Gina's in Las Vegas because I was talking to thought, Gina on my phone the other the other day on, on Instagram, and oh, she said I thought they were all. In, was, so you think it's all bullshit? Because you sounded pretty sure that they were in Barstow. Well, some of them might be still in Barstow, but Gina. Gina informed me that she was in Vegas. Uh, oh, good. So what else is going on, bro? Oh, dude, it's it's just been crazy over here. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, the weather has been it? hot as fuck. Uh, yeah. Uh, the power went out yesterday. Thank God it came yeah. on at 8:30 last night. But yeah, I woke up My to power no power. My power went out like three hours ago because I'm in a fucking hurricane. So, um, has anybody sent you any like fillet of fishes lately? No, but dude, you know why are you talking to me on the phone when you should be taking care of yourself and your family and and getting them in in a in a safe place 
and getting yourself indoors in a safe location. Hey, man, we got all that shit taken care of. It's all done. I'm just bored now. It's just fucking crazy weather that we're waiting on. So I'm just like all right. fucking uh, all right. drinking and like chilling with my boys. Oh, know? my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Not well, you know stuff. what? Yeah. What about yeah. your phone battery? What about your phone battery? I got so many um, battery chargers. It's like I could fucking go for like a week, man. All right. That, that's good. That's very smart. Very, very smart. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just outside fucking just watching this crazy shit. How are you watching my stream with no power? On my phone. Oh, on your phone. Okay. On the Twitch app on my phone, yeah. Okay, on the Twitch app on your phone. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why I'm talking to you, too. Okay, right. So uh, I was wondering, uh, I see you like a roof shingle, I guess it's off my roof. Um... I was wondering if you could tell me a story because I'm fucking bored over here, like with no power. And tell shit. you what story? I'm doing um, a stream, maybe dude. Maybe the 1992 story. I'm not telling that story again. I'm not telling that fucking story again. Thank you. But, Good day. We're done talking. No, don't let. We're Mom, done. Don't to, let him hang up on you. You do that. Don't bring that fucking sick, despicable, immoral garbage up with me again. Fuck. I just. Like, like people get it wrong all the time, so I was trying to make sure that you maybe you could tell it one time and get it. How right many fucking sure times people... do I gotta say I never blew anybody? Okay. I most people know that, but some people say it wrong and like they say you. Well, then of course any... you're gonna say it wrong to get me looking like a fucking moron. Good well, day. What actually happened? Because I'm, I don't know the story. Well, I don't give a fuck. Forget about it. You see it. You see the tapes. You see the pre-recorded tapes on Twitch from the past episodes. That's all. And that's it. I don't. Yeah, I've never seen those, and I can't go back and look I, at them. Can forget about it. it. We're one, not talking about it. One last, Good day. One last No time. need to bring it. No, I'm not telling it again. Thank you. Good day. One last time. Goodbye. I'm in. A, I'm in. I'm in a, I need to hear that garbage. Tell the 1992 story again. He's, he's, he's in a fucking hurricane, and he's worried about the what happened to me in 1992. Lying bastard. One last time. A fucking lying son of a bitch. Tired of that stupid story. That stupid event that happened to me. Report of a strange odor coming from 102 on Friday. It started during the evening, and was much nicer than the usual smell. Original smell has resumed. That 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 ass cologne is gone. Okay, I threw it away. It's disgusting. It was sent to me. It was sent to me uh, a couple days ago, and uh, it's gone. All right. I went. I wore it down to Denny's once, and I'll never put that shit on because it's it's shit and it's garbage. Never again. The, the, the people at Denny's were looking at me like, well, why the fuck would you want to smell like this and come in here in public? And there, there, there were people on another table eating food and they couldn't believe it. It's like they would take off their mask, take a bite and put their mask back on so they don't have to smell me. I feel real bad about that. feel real bad about that. Anybody at Denny's that uh, or anybody Carrie, that you goes should have there? compromised with the DJ at the cafe. Was he starring at your crotch? You could have gobbled some cock and stream afterwards. No, he wasn't staring at my crotch, you weirdo. God, you're a fucking animal. No, he was staring at my phone and wanted my phone cleared of me taking the video of, of, uh, of uh, the cafe. And when that girl grabbed the phone and uh, <clears throat> out of his hand and started clearing it, I said, that's all you do is clear just what uh, was filmed now and give me back the phone. And I was polite about it. I was respectful about it. 
They respected me. I respected them. And I felt bad that I felt bad that that that, that had to happen that way because they all invited me down. So, you know, forget I'm never going there again. Fuck it. The whole area is beautifully rebuilt. I mean, when I lived out there, it, it was it was it was like from 1983 to 1988. Yeah, it was it was okay and stuff uh, across the street where there is now a, a um, Chick-fil-A. That Chick-fil-A was the Mustang Ranch, was a strip club years ago, years ago. Okay, meaning the 1980s, it was a strip club called the Mustang Ranch. And now it's a Chick-fil-A. So that, that shows the uh, the upgrading improvement that they uh, did to the neighborhood. And that, that's just one one building. I mean, my God, they did, they did a major facelift over there. Major facelift to make Santa Ana look more presentable to uh, tourists and, and uh, locals in Orange County. <clears throat> Perry, fuck Cafe Luz. $25 to call them now and threaten to go there with an AR-15 and kill every motherfucker in sight and then dance on the dead. Oh, fuck you, you sick son of a bitch. I'm not threatening anybody, you fucking moron. God, you're a child. If I call them later, that'll be, that'll be a different phone call, but it's not going to be something stupid like that. You fucking child. I could go to jail for making a phone call like that. As well as lose my channel. Jag off. Thank you for subscribing. After telling my sick father you won't do a big three podcast, he began to weep. You know what it's like to see your dad cry? You broke a dying man's heart. Listen and watch the old episodes. I'm not dealing with that jag off ever again. And you want to deal with a, with a guy that barely wants to pay me shit? I'm not, I'm not dealing with that cocksucker because he barely pays me for... Fucking money for driving over the hill and and uh, dealing with his crap. I mean, it's bad enough I got a pigsty here. I, I go to his pigsty. His pigsty makes my pigsty look like a look like uh, I, I clean up in here every day, which I should do. But you know, in in his place you can't you can barely move. And, and the funny thing about that moron is he buys cases of junk and just. Puts him in his house and leaves the box. Doesn't even open them. Just leaves it all in the box. Never even opens the box. You want to talk about hoarders? That guy is a hoarder. I'm not saying his name. I'm just saying. Uh, the crap that he does. Hey, Perry, with the petting zoo at the pool party, please don't try to drown any of the animals like you did with the cats. Now, I'm not going to get all pissed off because I'm tired of getting all pissed off, but it goes like this. How many fucking times do I tell people there is no pool party in my complex? Okay? Okay, there's no fucking pool party here. It's not allowed. Only one guest is allowed in the pool if I have a guest over. I'm not having a fucking guest over and I'm not having a pool party. When I see Gina or when I see Scarlett or when I see Christina, they can come over to my house on one-on-one on, on -on -one occasions. Maybe all together. Who knows? Who knows? Like if we do a dinner, like a big dinner or something, but I'm not cooking for anybody but myself, 
But anyway, until I talk to who I'm going to be talking to. You can order late night from my Denny Senny I'm and let me get a grand slam and dip my sausage in your syrup and scarf down your pancakes and big tip. Not interested. Not interested. I'm not going to Denny's later. And Jansen Payne, tell me who the fuck you really are, because I, I don't know anybody at Denny's named Jansen Payne. <sighs> hey, Perry, still anxious for a demo of your skin flute skills. You're the man. What the fuck? I don't play any instruments. Especially that one. I used to play the drums, but I never, never owned my own drum set. Uh, that was the only instrument. I, I do have a guitar. I don't play the guitar though. I had a guitar given to me by uh, by Bobby Ferreira, and uh, it's all signed and autographed and stuff. I, uh, I should hang it up in here, but there's like no room to hang it anywhere. So I, I just look at it every once in a while. And it's the memories of when I went to a little house party in Palm Springs that was uh, organized for me, and right after Windy City Heat and all that stuff. Hi, girls. Those are my hood girls. Slash. I'm only going to say this once. Stay away from my hooters, girls, or get in the ring. What? No, those are my hooter girls. What hooter girls are your hooter girls? You can have the Hollywood hooter girls. That's by your place, right? The Hollywood hooter girls? My Hooter girls are either the Costa Mesa Hooters or the Long Beach Hooters. Those are my girls. Hey, Perry. Hitlery A. Ich habe mich gefragt, ob ich sie in einem Schlagzeug gig für a joke who mir interessiert sind. Ich kann für ihn borgen. Guter Kerl. What the fuck are you talking about? Say it in fucking English. You fucking weirdo. What are you saying this all this garbage in German? You piece of shit. Get that Adolf Hitler shit off my fucking screen. Asshole. Fans, don't be afraid to talk to Perry. Hess warm and lovable. Haters can suck it. We true demons want to hear from you. Give number two a mod. Subscriber Sunday's fun. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to talk to me. But uh, show some fucking respect, please. Don't let the assholes in the chat fucking uh, show show this evil demon 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 worshiping bullshit to fucking make me look like a fucking buffoon. All right, because it's all bullshit. All this 666 crap. And also, uh, don't be afraid to leave your number at uh, with uh, Hero or uh, um, Joey for me to give you a phone call. Okay? Leave your, num leave your uh, number with uh, Hero or Joey so I can give you a phone call. Okay, there's there's new people in my in my uh, my office, and and I'm hearing just Joey. Perry, I got it. PCL live Las Vegas 12 12 21. Perry world record third attempt 100 man bukake. Tattoo removal of snowboarder. Live catch never gonna fucking happen. Jag off. There's no look when I go to Vegas. 
No one's touching this arm. No one. No one. No one. You try to touch this arm, I leave immediately and I drive home. Because I'm driving myself to Vegas. No one's picking me up and taking me to Vegas. I'm driving myself. I don't trust anybody anymore. Bullshit. Perry, long hey. time no see. My agent passed along the Monetics book you are promoting. Thanks for introducing me to Monetics. I'm not promoting I'll the, the Monetics my copy. bullshit. I'm not promoting it, goddammit. Oh, fucking A. My promotion is get the fuck out of that fucking demon worshiping pricks. Uh, excuse me. My promotion is get the fuck out of that fucking cocksuckers Barstow uh, compound and get back into Hollywood and back into L.A. All right. Stay away from that fucking loser's compound and Barstow. Jag off. Well, I got enough problems over here with the stream. Hey, Perry, at the pool party, can we have a contest to change your middle name? Francis isn't a real Italian name, you phony. Jag off! There's no fucking pool party! Motherfucker! There is absolute no fucking pool party! And no, my middle name is not gonna ever get changed! You son of a bitch! It's Frank! F R A N K. My great, my 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 mother's father was Frank. That's it. Go change your name to Francis. Fuck you. Twenty five dollars to light yourself on fire and run out screaming for help. Ten extra dollars if when the cops show up you tell them Trevor tried to kill you. Never going to fucking happen. Absolute never going to fucking happen. Why? Because that fucking uh, 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 comment is fucking so stupid. It, it, it'll never fucking happen. I'm not going to light myself on fire. And, and I would lose my stream, you fucking moron. Not allowed to do that shit on the stream. On the internet, light yourself on fire. It's, it, any self-harm is not allowed. Not at all allowed. At all. That's self-harm. That's almost committing suicide. If not committing suicide. I'm not in the mood, nor am I ever going to attempt suicide. Animals, especially to please your stupid ass. Joe Kumia here. Need to book gigs for my Hendrix tribute band. Very interested in booking Tom's Tiki Bar. All I require is a big sandwich and Gatorade. Tom's got enough problems at his tea with his Tiki Bar, so you know there's no there's no band promotion. For, for Tom's Tiki Bar that I'm going to be promoting. Tom's having a very hard time with that. He got screwed over. The fucking jag off that, uh, that uh, Tom got that uh, Tiki Bar from fucked him big time. I'm not booking any bands. I, it's been a long time since I've been involved with uh, booking bands at nightclubs and stuff. And with this fucking pandemic, uh, you don't know what, what to, where to book, who to book, or, or, or if booking is a smart thing to do at this time. I mean, I know there's uh, some big shows that are going to be going on soon, but pff, I'm not attending. 
I mean, yeah, I've got my two shots, but now they're talking about a third variant. Fucking scaring the shit out of me. Pukey, I'm really enjoying your new fake bruise scam. We can tell it's just a hickey you How gave yourself by sucking fake? on your arm like How a milkshake. How the fuck is that fake? That's not fake, Jagoff! God damn! That's not fake! And that's not a hickey, stupid! And yeah, the arm still hurts, so, you know, I'm thinking maybe one or two weeks, it, 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 the pain will be gone, I'm hoping. Ouch. <sighs> Perry, if there is no Labor Day pool party, why do people keep saying that there is? Screw it, I'm just going to show up and see what happens. Oh, God. I don't know what to say to these morons. Okay? I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm not throwing a pool party. I have no means of... Uh, 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 I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not allowed, as well as anybody else is here, is not allowed to have a fucking pool party. And if you want to show up anywhere, show up at the beach, okay? Mm. There's your party. Mm -hmm. Thank God, it's, it's only in a week. Baby, Gina! why are you crying about her shoulder? How are we going to get married and on our honeymoon I slap you Lil and you start crying a lot? Her neck is glass. Love you. Uh, honey... What, 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 we're going to make get married within a week? <laughs> Look, I, 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 like an idiot, I put my hand behind me and fell on my rollerblades, and it was like a big, a big... While, what, you take while throwing away garbage. Yeah, I'm on my rollerblades and throwing away trash in my rollerblades. Right, which, which, so, is, which uh, is why you have the injury, specifically. Right, I'll, I'll admit it. But I'm not going to blame it on throwing the bag over the over into the. That's dumpster. exactly what it was. That's exactly what. I'm going to blame it on the way I turned around and lost my balance. It had nothing to do with me throwing the bag over the over the the garbage dumpster. Okay, it had every it had everything to do with it, Perry. Everything. I, I'm confident in saying that, and I wasn't there. It was me skating away from the spot that's what was that's what made me lose my balance okay perry you can probably quit the stream and start up a new fake disability scam with that fake shoulder injury on your final stream let's remove the tat god damn you're not touching my arm you're not touching the arm! You're not fucking touching the arm! You're not fucking... Get past this motherfucker! I want nothing to do with him! I want nothing to do with him or anything that he fucking wants to promote! You son of a bitch! See, now people are saying that your bruise is actually a new tattoo that you got, that you got a tattoo of a bruise to gain sympathy. Is it? That's not true, oh, right? fuck you! Fuck you! I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm saying that's what people are saying. Because all they want to do is lie, 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 lie. Does that look like a fucking tattoo, you jag off? Ow, 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 ow. Why would I? Why would I put a bruise on my arm that's in a, in a tattoo form? God, you're so fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. I fell back. I put my arm behind me like a fucking idiot. Rather than falling just on my ass. I should have done. Perry, it's me, Jesus. How's your day going, pal? When you're old enough, we will sit down in the father and son chat about the jibs and the jigs. I promise. 
Tell me what the jibs and the jigs are, stooge. God damn. Why, 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 why do I have to keep waiting? If you don't explain what they are now, I want you blocked. Jibs and jigs. Fucking A. It's, it's abbreviated for something. Just in business? Right? Jib? Could that be it? Could it be just in business? What are you, what are you asking? Does jib mean just in business? It's possible. And what would jig be? Uh, just another... Uh, uh, um, I'm thinking just 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 another gig, but that's that's J A G. That would be a jag, just another gig, meaning like an acting job or another concert or something like that, or a comedy gig. Well, you know, there's a real easy way to find out. What? Go to Google and ask what what does what does J I B stand for? No, you could just ask Jesus to tell you what it means. Well, he's not he's not saying shit. <clears throat> Him and that other asshole. Just another guy that, that... What are your eyes darting at when you're looking off to the side like that? I'm looking, I'm looking over there. Looking at the... Trying to read writing that is tinier than oh, shit. Okay. Because I don't have... Well, don't read, don't read, just worry about the chat on the screen. The chat on the side okay. is, is going to be too small for you. Okay. Even the chat on the screen is a little tiny. Can I use the toilet again, please? I am the real okay. Perry. I snowboard. I have a shop vac. I am Italian. You are a Hispanic with a low-powered vac and who is a poser snowboarder. F you, Francis. <sighs> I'm not answering that. That's fucking stupid. I'll be right back. I only got to go pee. I, I'm the real Perry Carabello. C-A-R is in car. A-B is in Victor. E-double-L-O. Fuck off. Cut it off. Okay, let's get to another a uh, subscriber Sunday call. Five oh four call? No, you did that one already. I just sent it. Okay, three one oh, okay. I was just going to say, 
504 call. Oh, by the way, Perry, I'm sorry. The chat just reminded me. You got to do the stairs when you go pee. You didn't do the stairs. So let's do. So what? You got paid. No, you got paid to do it. So do it. Now make up, make up for it. We don't have a stair scam on our hands. Very good. Okay. Okay. You got to do that every time you go pee. <laughs> and on the way back too. Okay. Good. Okay. Scam averted. That's good. My arm fucking hurts. That's all. It's. Not in a good mood. Why aren't you in a good mood? Because my arm hurts. Oh, that's the only reason? Yeah. For now. Hello? Hello, this is Perry Caravello live. Who am I speaking with, please? Uh, you're speaking with Riley Hawk. This is Tony Hawk's son. Who? Tony Riley? Hawk's son. Riley Hawk? Yes, Tony Hawk. How are you, son? You need to put some more respect on my dad's name. He invented snowboard, not that dumb. No bullshit! Tom <laughs> Sims! Tom <laughs> Sims is the snowboarder inventor! He was Tom Sims the was the one that started it in 76! The quarter, being a dumbass, and then he just saw him like riding a ski in some dumbass bullshit, and then he fucking tried to steal the idea. You're a he punk, you little fuck. bastard! Shut the fuck up, Barry! You're fuck. a punk, you little shit! Tom Sims! You <laughs> You're a fucking old man, you bitch! Was a baby boy! He wasn't even no way. You're 75 years old. I don't want to hear from you. Good day, you cocksucker. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about this, Terry. We're going to talk yeah, about Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk shouldn't even be called the godfather of skateboarding. That's Tony Alva's fucking uh, title. Tony hey, Alva no, is no, the no, godfather no, of skateboarding, no, not no, Tony Hawk. No, no, no. Enough about my dad, Perry. Let's talk about something else that I've heard you've done. I heard you sucked off this guy named Randy. I never sucked off anybody, you son of a bitch! Fuck off, you cocksucker! Go straight to fucking hell, you son of a bitch! You're an evil goddamn demon! Go fuck yourself! Good day! Everybody you fucking asshole! You're a fucking punk cocksucker, motherfucker, and I want nothing to do with you, and I never want to talk to you ever again. You fucking low-life piece of shit. Fucking asshole. What a little prick he is. Telling me that I sucked off a fucking guy. Little fucking bastard. Fucking asshole. Why do people have to go down this fucking road? Oh my god, oh my god. A rattlesnake just bit my cock. I need you to suck the poison out. Please help me, Perry. I'm not, I'm that's in not my job. 107. That's not my job. Uh, that, that, if, that, if that's what happened to you, that's what happened to you. I don't care. It's not my problem. Why would you allow? Why would you allow a rattlesnake in your apartment? Number one, and and why would you be close enough to a rattlesnake for it to suck or bite you or dick? Jack off. Fucking, fucking disgusting. Son of a bitch. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay.
Thank you. You're the best, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well appreciated. Thank you. Today Sunday. Yeah. I think so. Cozy Rosie here. I'm gonna fuck you with a strap on banana. At the banana blowout party, you're gonna blow my banana boner. I'm gonna blow out her ass. There's no banana blowout party here, you idiot. There's no party here at all, you moronic idiot. Just fucking plain disgusting. Stupid asshole. And, and, and why? Why is it this fucking banana blowout party? It's fucking stupid. <clears throat> hey, this is Frank McCullion from Boston. He'll be coming to the pool party. I was wondering if you could send me five hundred dollars for lobsters for the party. There's no pool party. There's no party. There's no lobsters. And I'm not sending you five cents. Loan five hundred dollars, you fucking moron. God almighty, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do with these fucking fucking imbeciles? Shit. Oh Jesus Christ. Again. There is no party here. Never will be a party here. Absolutely out of the question. Perry, looking forward to the banana blowout party. Can we perform dark rituals at the party? All we need is the credenza's sacrifice. 666. You can take your stupid party, your stupid sacrifice, and your evil demonic 666 and shove it up your fucking ass. Because none of that is ever going to happen here. Kabish, End of story. Stupid fucking jag off. Gee. Baby, I got an idea. How about a lusty Labor Day luncheon at our place? Cut a glory hole in the screen door and turn your bathroom into a chili bar? What, what the fuck you... Why, why the fuck you going down this road, girl? Why? Why in the fuck are you going down this fucking road? This evil, demented, psychotic fucking road? You joining those fucking morons with this stupid shit? Then I want nothing to do with you either. Get the fuck out of off my fucking stream. Son of a bitch. You, you, you're joining all those fucking sick fucking assholes that are fucking pissing me off. There's no fucking party here. Never gonna fucking happen. Here's for your Cafe Lou Call Scaremaster. Please ask some of those bikini waitresses to come to the banana blowout party next Saturday. Love you, bud. There's no... I'm not even in town, piece of shit. Ugh. Fucking asshole. Oh, God. Perry, Denny's bathroom is out of order today. They said to come to your place since you have been sending folks there for a while now. See you soon. Show your face here or you're not allowed in. Goodbye. If you knock on my door and you say you want to use my bathroom, you're not allowed in my house. Good day. And you're not allowed in my house anyway, because I don't even know who the fuck you are. Let's 
see me soon. Cafe Lu shouldn't have touched you or your property. Why didn't you headbutt their nose into their skull? I thought you were tough. You, a fake tough guy. I used to be tough. Uh, after three neck surgeries, I'm not tough anymore, okay? That's a lie. That's a lie. We saw what you did to that Ricky guy. You're, you're full of it. Oh, okay. If you call that tough, then... then I call then Putting I a guy in a hospital, yeah, I call that a, a rage. That, that, to me, is nothing. Look, they should not have grabbed my phone out of my hands. I should have never allowed it, okay? But, you know, I was polite about it. And I was firm with what she was doing to my phone, that uh, she only removes one item and gives me my phone back, you know. And so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but th they have they have no right to touch your property, seriously. Right. Okay. So look, I think it's time to actually call Cafe Lou's because we got the uh, the offer uh, funds came in. So let's uh, let me get the number over to you, and then uh, we'll give them a call. Uh, give me one second here. Now you're going to call them and demand an explanation and an apology. Basically, you're going to say, hey, I came into your place yesterday. I had my phone. I was filming. You guys invited me. I want to know why you were so rude to me and you owe me an apology. You know, I, and if they hang up, we're going to call back. It's, uh, that, that, I think, is kind of harassment. But anyway, no, call you're, back. You're so. just calling, looking, you know, you're... you're you were a potential customer, you know, and in your right. eyes, now, were they really writing you on Twitter, inviting you? Is that really what happened? Or yeah, they... the, the couple of the girls, you know, they would, they would send their pictures of them in the, in the bikinis and shit. Now, uh, a group are, are photo you of all six girls in bikinis? Are you sure that together. was, are you sure that was targeted to you or were these public posts that anybody could see? Well, it looked like they wanted me to come down, so. Okay. I that, sent you the number. Right. Now listen, this is very important. You have to say this is Perry Caravello with Perry Caravello Live. You have to tell them that they're live on the stream. You can't not say that. Right. This is Perry Caravello exactly. Live. You're live on my stream right now. I was in your place yesterday. I was rudely uh, thrown out and uh, after filming. I want to know. I, I demand to know why, and I demand an apology. Is basically how you want to run it. Exactly. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hang up. Seven, one. Hang up. Fuck them. That sounded like a voicemail of like a uh, regular. Let me sure, make sure you have the right number for that. Well, we're going to call back, Perry. It's not like we're not going to. Well, we're, why would we call the same number uh, if it's going to send me to a okay, voicemail? Well, maybe they're not. What time is it? What time is it there now? It's two twenty. Yeah, it says they're open. open. They're let open. Just, let me make sure. Uh, the afternoon, you know, they're serving coffee during the day. They, they, I'm not encouraging anybody to leave reviews. They they shouldn't, but they they get terrible reviews online. Terrible reviews. Bad cafe view. Uh, cafe Lou. Yeah. Yeah, really bad. I'm not gonna be in business long. Well, how long? How did you find out about it? Like, how did you even know about it to begin with? How did you find out? The about girls, it? the bikini girls, keep sending me photos, and they keep inviting me. Hmm. <clears throat> Says they're open on Sunday, ten a.m. to eleven p.m. They're open. Um, yeah. All right. Sure, hey. Um, all right. Let's do this. We'll move on. But uh, Joey, can you do me a favor and research? If there's an alternate number for Cafe Lou's and send it to me, because I, 
I don't I can't do it while I'm doing the stream but um, if there's another number if not we're definitely gonna call them uh, but uh, Joe, Joe if you could just if you could just send, what's that and it'll send me to a voicemail again well if it does we'll call back until we get somebody that's how it works but uh, Joe if you could just send me a number because I have one number but you know that came up uh, via TripAdvisor but uh, the, I, I don't have time to search for more numbers and uh, come back so anyway we'll move on and then we'll do it again in a bit in fact right. why don't we do this why don't you here why don't you make your next subscriber sunday call um while i look into this more okay i just just sent it to you 707 Hello. This is Perry Carabello live. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh my God, it's you, Perry. Oh my God. Who, who, who am I talking I, to? I'm, I'm kind of nervous to talk to you, but um, <laughs> this is the son and Doherty look alike. What? Yeah. Wait a like, second. I'm the girl that you. You're the girl I'm that the girl that you. pulled over behind me on the on ramp. Of the uh, five freeway outside of uh, Magic Mountain Studios. Yeah. Hey, Perry, that's banned. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. That's banned. That's banned. Okay. Chapstick banned. Sorry. No, sorry. There's got to be a punishment for that. I'm sorry. That's banned. Oh, oh fucking you, man. No, that's I'm Perry. It's a banned fail. item. It's a banned item. I'm sorry to interrupt this phone call. That's a banned bitch, item. Bitch, 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 bitch. God damn it. What are you doing? What are you doing, Perry? I was putting lip chap, uh, uh, chapstick on my lips. The the bees brand. Oh. The the, the oh uh, birch bees. Okay, now, oh now wait, it's you from the on yeah. from the on ramp. Okay. Um, yeah. why did you throw yourself to the passenger side of the car? I was just reaching my head in to give you a good night kiss on your cheek. I'm not gonna fucking rape you on the freeway on ramp. Well, I just if you can just calm down for a second, Perry, I'll explain myself to you. Talk. So, like, you know, imagine just just take a take a breath and like just imagine you're like you're you're a human being, like you're a girl, and you're stranded on a dark highway one night, and you look in the side view mirror. And you like you see this this hairy beast approaching your car. Shut the fuck I mean, up. You're an animal, okay? I'm not no hairy beast like, approaching your fucking car. I was a nice guy. I pulled over. You pulled over behind me. <clears throat> well, God. anyway, Perry, you know, I'm a big fan of your streams and I'm like I'm so sorry about what happened in nineteen ninety two. Thank like, you. I'm so sorry, but I was I was scared that night. Why? For what? That was a great that I was a know. great shoot, and we were all friendly to each other. Everybody on I set did, was, was kind like, to each other, and kind to like me, and I was very honored and very very thankful for everybody, all the girls <laughs> that were hugging me and kissing me. Look, I was just intimidated by your your masculinity. I mean, you just you just give off this power. Like, I don't think you know what kind of effect you have on people. I want to know what you. I want to know exactly what you said to Randy Callahan the next fucking morning or that night when uh, I got in so much fucking trouble for something so anal and stupid. Well, I I called him up and I said like. You were trying to talk to me on the freeway, but I mean, I don't want to get what? into all of that. I just, I, I want to tell you, like, I, I decided afterwards to call to lift up production, like two weeks after this incident, and I, I was so upset. 
Um, and like, I want, I decided I wanted to, to like go out on a date with you because like you're really hot, you know. And I was, I, I called him up and I talked to Heidi. Okay. Why? Why in the fuck are you telling me this now, in the year 2021? Why didn't you fucking tell well, me that back in 1992? You fucking well, let me animal. Get to that. Well, let me get to that, okay? I talked to Heidi, and she said you were dating Randy Callahan. Oh, that's a fucking lie! That's a well, fucking I lie! How dare know. you make that fucking comment, you sick fucking well, animal? Heidi, Heidi said it. That's a say, fucking I, lie! What? I didn't know. Like, I was not, there. I was in that office one other time, and that was it. Heidi oh said God. it. What a fucking lie, you fucking liar. Like me. Go fuck yourself, like you me. sick bitch. Don't ever call my no stream way. again. Fuck off. No You're an asshole. Please, Come back. Sorry? Oh, my God. Oh, what? Let me finish. What do you I want? I tell you, like, I was so upset about the fact that, like, you weren't single anymore that I, I went into porn. You're a liar again. All you do is fucking lie. You went in the porn. A lie. I started doing porn. I did this movie called 9021 Ho. It's like Debbie. If it wasn't for you, I would have never been in this fucking trouble, you stupid fucking bitch. It's like Debbie does Dallas, but I do an entire zip code in Southern California. 9021 Ho. Oh, so that's your movie now? 902 and Ho? Yeah. yeah. You fucking whore. I was upset because you weren't single anymore and I couldn't date you. Oh, you're a fucking liar, you fucking bitch. Like, why are you so mean to me, Perry? Anyway, because you're treating really- me like a fucking moron. Like, the real reason I'm calling is because I heard you paid some guy named Bill to kill two cats, and it really upset me because, like, I'm a, I'm an animal lover. Uh, I love animals, too. I, I didn't pay nobody to kill animals. You know, you're dead. lying again. Bill. You're fucking lying again. Why, the fuck are, why are you a fucking lying bitch? You said you paid Bill to to kill two people. You're a liar, you fucking bitch! Good day. We're done. This conversation's over. You fucking lying um, bitch. Perry, would you just apologize to my cat? Kiss my ass, you fucking lying bitch! Fuck off! apologize to my cat? Fucking lying bitch! Lie, 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 lie! These fucking animals. Why me, huh? Why fucking me? All these fucking lying fucking bitches. Tired of the stupid assholes. Oh, fucking hey. Thanks for the shout out. Due to staffing shortages, we are now hiring male talent. Come audition for us, sailor. We like the cut of your jib. You're not hiring for me. You don't want me to work for you. No. And and, and that last line, you like the cut of my jib? You're not Hooters. You're some scumbag saying you're Hooters. Hiring. And I'm not going to drive from the valley to fucking Long Beach to go to work. Imbeciles. Cafe Luca. Stop blowing up all the hand jab buffet establishments, you weak Christed punk boy. You're another lying son of a bitch. Cafe Lou call. Cafe Lou kiss my ass as well. Fucking assholes. Disrespectful fucking pricks. Hey, I actually got a different number now for Cafe Lou, so I don't know that number before, but here's a number that's supposed to be them. So I'm going to send it, but again, this is Perry Caravello. You're on Perry Caravello Live right now, my stream. I was in there yesterday. 
uh, you know, however you want to handle it. Uh, and I was very rudely treated. Uh, you made me delete my video, and I want I want an explanation, and I demand an explanation and an apology. That's the beats of it. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Of course. Let me get to that section of all this crap I got on my phone. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Sorry, let it ring. Let it ring. Let it ring. Shop. <clears throat> Alright, you can hang out. We'll try we'll try again a little later. Okay. You gotta say that's terrible service to let the phone ring and ring like that. Two phone numbers. Same thing. We'll try back. Okay. Maybe we'll watch. Maybe we'll watch the watch. Bummer you won't work in the 92 story, but I understand why you won't. Boner check. No, I gotta go pee. There's your boner check. I gotta go pee. Okay? Again? What? Again? Yeah, again. Again. Uh, you gotta do the stairs thing, remember. Stairs yes, thing sir. on the way. Yes, sir. You should probably see a doctor about that if that doesn't get any better in the next couple of days. It'll be fine. It's just a bruise. It's a little sprain. Jokumia here. Come to the compound. You love the kids here. I'm grooming them for future us. The kids will like the cut of your jib. Joe out. I'm not going to Barstow over and out, okay? I'm not going to Barstow at all. <clears throat> I want Christina out of there. I want her kid out of there. So, Christina, get your kid and get the fuck back to Malibu. Uh, Gina, I know Gina's got a new TV show going on. 
So uh, she's done with uh, the Mandalorian. She's not in, in um, Barstow. And uh, Corey Feldman, dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on with you. I have no clue with you. And I want you to get your ass back home in the Malibu as well. Don't you have a wife down there in Malibu? Or a girlfriend in, uh, that you were living with for a while? I don't know. I don't know. Anywho, that's it. Who's up the six? Oh, Tommy. It's Tommy. Been too long since we've seen each other. The pool party bitch, later today oh. sounds great. Threesomes in your place. You got a dildo? Whoa. Hot. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Smart ass like always. No, there's not going to be a twosome or a threesome with you invited. Uh, I, I don't mind having you over. Um... I mean, if you and I are going to go do something, you know, together or whatever, that that's fine. But, you know, there's not going to be any sex parties in my my apartment. And there's no pool party. Absolutely no pool party. Um, uh, are you back with, uh, I don't, I don't even know who you're, who you're seeing anymore. So... I know there was a problem with Denise. That was a long time ago. So Kim Richards wants to have a meeting with me, and I have no clue what that's all about. That's just fucking ridiculous. Unless she wants to try to fuck me. Who knows? And then she changes the uh, the uh, date that she, she put on with me, which was supposed to be last night. But I'm glad that it didn't happen, because I just drove back from... Uh, fucking the bullshit that I went through in, in Orange County. Forget about it. I'm not going to deal with those assholes at Cafe Lou. Went from Cafe Lou to, to Hooters and get my got my new shirt, which I showed everybody. The new Hooters shirt. Oh, it's right behind me on the lounge chair. So. Uh. Perry. Going snowboarding twice does not make you a professional snowboarder, but sucking I never said does I make was you a professional gay. snowboarder, Thoughts? Jack. Let uh, me know. And no, I never sucked any dick either, Jack. Off. And no, there's not going to be another tattoo put on this arm again, Jack. Off. Since you're faking a shoulder injury, instead of doing a dab for subs, you should rub your belly, tip your fedora, and Toom has to say that it'll do pig. Fuck, fuck you, man. God damn. Faking a shoulder injury. No. No. You see the black and blue mark, and you call that fake. Yeah, thanks. Fucking idiots. Fucking ignorant, rude, and despicable. Perry, the way Cafe Lou treated you was ill-mannered, inconsiderate, disrespectful, and ungrateful. Kind of reminds me how to treat Tom. No, stop. No. What happened with me at Cafe Lou's, because they saw my cell phone uh, videotaping, is my business, and uh, look, I put them in their place. They're getting uh, shit out on my stream, so uh, no, nobody that watches my stream is going to be showing up at Cafe Lou's anytime soon. Um, they'll go to Hooters if they're going to they're going to go get a a coffee or some food. Okay, they'll go to a real fucking nice place, Hooters. Cafe Lou's can kiss my ass for coffee or any food of any sort. And Hooters has good meals, from chicken to salads. Thank you for subscribing.
don't you demonstrate on how to shave your butthole and we can have a shaved butthole contest and you can pick your favorite butthole for dinner. Oh, God. You are the grossest, sickest, despicable, demented, immoral psychopath. I, I don't even want you on my... Uh, shave my butthole. Go, go fuck yourself, you fucking sick fuck. If you want to shave your butthole, that's your business. Don't tell me to shave my butthole. Ugh. Gross fucking asshole. We're very sorry about what happened the other day. The employee you spoke with was new and didn't know you were VIP. Please call give us a call, honey. Yeah, I'll be giving you guys a call back soon. As and if you hear the phone ring, fucking answer it. God damn it. Two phone numbers. Nobody answers the phone. Thanks. Pains in my ass. I'm coming over to drop a fudge dragon in your toilet tank. I no, you're not. Am. I am the upper decker. Man, no, you're not. Suck shit, Perry. Fuck you, suck shit. No, no, suck shit, whoever the fuck you are that thinks you're going to show up in my apartment because you're not allowed in my place. Fucking loser. Upper decker. Kiss my ass. And again, about Cafe Lou's, I'm not going back to Orange County to go visit you guys. You guys fucked it all up for me. If I go to Orange County to visit anybody, I'll go visit the old neighborhood as, and uh, stop by Hooters and get myself a bite to eat at Hooters. That's all. But uh, my visiting Orange County is going to take me to the Huntington Beach Van Skateboard Park. That's a real good good place to go skateboarding. Perry, just admit you locked in Cafe Lou with both your phone and your dick out. Maybe the DJ grabbed both, and you had to do him a favor. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I didn't have my dick out. I'm not like that. Fucking I I I animal. God. We had power in Beverly Hills. Did you try paying your bill? Which blew harder, the fake snowboarder or the hurricane on Kevin's phone call? The fake snowboarder is not fake. Just because I went twice doesn't mean that I'm not going again. I'm going to be going this winter, motherfucker. Turkey Day, Thanksgiving Day, which is opening day at all ski resorts in Southern California. I'm in the snow. Where I'm going is none of your fucking business. Until the until I get home, then you'll see whatever I have on my phone. If I videotape while I'm snowboarding. So I might just leave my phone in my car and lock it up. Jib 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 hail Satan jib 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 Take your jib and shove it up your fucking ass. Jerks. Here, here's, here's my de definition in, of jib. Jerks in business. Jag, jack offs in business. Uh, jerks in business, jack offs in business. 
Um, 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 uh, uh, just in business or, or uh, yeah, just in business. Five dollars for Perry. Five dollars for for Tom hashtag tips for tomb. Now set the record straight for all the new viewers who think you blew RC. Tell the real 92 I story. I didn't blow anybody! How many fucking times do I gotta tell you? I didn't blow anybody! You fucking moron! Fuck off! Block that motherfucker! Block him right the fuck now! Block that son of a bitch! I never wanna see his fucking name again! And if I do, I'll shut my goddamn computer off! No, you're not, Perry. Well, he gave a tip for Tom B. I appreciate that. I write that down in my little book, and I appreciate that. I'm sorry that upset you. We do have a lot of new viewers, by the way. Hey, you know, Perry, we reached a milestone on Friday that you didn't even acknowledge. You want to know what that? We didn't. You didn't tell me to acknowledge it. Well, I didn't tell you at all. I just thought you might have paid attention. Um, Perry Caravillo Live on Twitch now has over 5,000 followers. Oh! Woo! So, yeah! and there are, there is a, in, there's a huge influx of new people who don't know. So that gentleman is probably a new person I, I who legitimately, who awesome. legitimately doesn't know that story. So instead of cursing at him, you know, they're just innocently asking, "What's, what's the story that everybody keeps talking about?" That's all. Well, I'm not bringing it. I'm not. I'm not talking about what happened to me. In 1992. I'm not asking you to talk about it. I'm asking you, you know, to, to not treat new people harshly just because they, they want to be clued into what's going on. And not everybody has... Okay. Not everybody has the time... Are you done? Go ahead. Just go ahead. Not everybody has the time to go through all the archives and, uh, you know... Uh, you know, search for when you told the story. That would be impossible. So, you know, may maybe keep that in mind. So what? Fine. I don't need to talk about what happened back then. I can't believe... Could you take a bed sheet? throw it over your head and stand out in your hallway for like two minutes. You can only say boo if people walk by. Thanks. No. No. I'm not, I'm not pulling my fucking bed apart to, to please your stupid ass. Well, do you only have one set of sheets? Do you have a second set of sheets that you could use? I'm not going to do it. No fucking way. For fucking five fucking dollars? It was 15. Please. It was 15. It, 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 it's still, I'm not doing it. It's got to be fucking way higher than $15. Right, well, let's negotiate. How much higher? 60? See, I think that's 100. too much. No. <laughs> See, well, you can't start then. out. Forget, you, you forget can't. it then! You're a terrible negotiator. You can't start out at 60 That's and then... Right. I'm a terrible negotiator because I'm tired of working for shit money. I feel like I should go back to the big three. So go do that. But right here, right now, you're getting offered $15. Shit money. Really? To go out in your hallway for two minutes for $15? You think you're making shit, shit money? You're paying, you're paying your bills? You're getting a new truck? You think you're getting shit money? F you. Seriously. People work their ass off for you. $15? Yeah. $15. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I, mean, I, make, I make way better money on here than I would with those assholes. So why did you say that? Just a spur of the moment fucking... I don't even know why I said that, but it was... Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I barely get paid shit from that fucking asshole. Is he, he'll 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 only pay me what what uh, he thinks is is what I'm worth. That's like twenty bucks, gas back and forth. 
Like fuck him. So why, so so why don't you go? So why don't you go work with him then? Uh, no, no, no. I make better pay here. Being a fucking crybaby. I make I make great money on this stream. Okay, but I'm not grabbing the sheets, uh, and and standing out in the hallway. No. When when it, when you're talking about fifteen dollars, that's not great money. That's what I meant. I didn't mean all the money that we we work for on the stream. I meant that fifteen dollars. I'm not not. Ooh, excuse me. This stream pays my bills. Yeah, I know it does. But <laughs> see now now you kind of owe now you kind of owe something, Perry. So I, now I think you do the sh the sheet thing for the fifteen dollars. Rich. Originally, I was going to say you should hold out for more because 15 is a little low for that. But now, no, 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 no. to make to make Perry, no. excuse me, stop saying no. You also pulled the chapstick stand, scam earlier, and there needs to be a penalty for that. That's banned. Okay. Do you want me to do it again? You want me to do it again? All right, here's the fucking shit. All right, here, here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, well, now you're going out. Get in the hallway, Perry. Let's go. Hallway. I'll go in the hallway. And with a sheet. With a sheet. No, Get... no, no sheets. No sheets. With a sheet. Get a sheet, please. Oh, my fucking God. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But you brought it on yourself. I I, I could have we could have got an extra fifteen out of that. But you being a prick brought this on yourself. Plus your double chapstick scam. You're gonna do this. All right, now, the sheet goes over your head. I'm going to start over the trusty. The oh, yes, over the hat. Over yeah, that, The hat is on your head, so technically it would go up over your head, yes. Over your head, with no. the hat. Now what? Now you just stand there for two minutes, and if somebody comes by, you say, boo. You can make it a little interesting by going like, ooh, I'm a ghost, you know, whatever you want to do. You could say, ooh, you know, say boo, you know. Move your hands a little bit. I didn't see shit, I can't see nothing. Well, move your hands a little bit, make, you know, make it interesting. Go back and forth, don't just stand there. Walk back and forth. Ooh. Ooh. No, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Don't go to that, that door. You got a minute and 30 left. Ooh. Well, two seconds, Ooh. two seconds ago, you were uh, ready to shut your computer down over this. Now you think it's fun. Ooh. How many more minutes? Exactly one more minute. Exactly what? Exactly one more minute. Okay. Do the evil laugh. You're good at that. Do the evil laugh. 
Good God. Evil laugh. I hear you. All right, you're good. That's two minutes. That's two minutes up. See, that wasn't so hard. Two minutes is now up. Two minutes is up. You're good. You know, you, you and 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 you're welcome. By the way, you, you and your cousin Mark can thank uh, the, the stream and Belushi Sushi for that extra fifteen dollars that'll be in your pockets tomorrow. That uh, you know we all work hard for uh, getting you instead of scream instead of screaming and yelling. So yeah, that's that's the way you should maybe approach somebody gifting you fifteen bucks to do something simple. A thank. Nice, that, uh, no, that's a nice thing to say. Thank you very much. Well, I didn't say anything different when I pitched it. <clears throat> You just, uh, you know. Let me pee first, and then I'll then I'll apologize. No, you can. You want to apologize? Apologize now. Sit down. Sit down. Apologize. Then go pee. You can apologize to Belushi Sushi. Yes. Hey, Belushi Sushi. For, uh, I'm sorry for being an ass. Uh, I'm good at being an ass. I'm good at being a. Disrespectful fuck at times. But I was originally mad at something else before, you know, uh, pulling my bed apart. But I, I made a stupid remark about wanting to work for the big three again. That was that was just plain stupid of me even saying that. But you know what? Uh, all I kept doing was getting ripped off by that motherfucker. And going back to that stupid, and you guys are definitely paying my bills, and I'm honored and thankful. Okay, very thankful. Okay, so so please forgive me for being okay. a dick that, and making a, that a takes care. Okay, I accept it. I hope Belushi and, and everybody else accepts it. That takes care of your dumb remarks. Now, what about the chapstick thing? I think that's got. I think the chapstick's got to go down the garbage disposal. For what you did. No! Are you sick? You don't I mean, put it in the garbage disposal, you fucking moron! You did uh -oh. a defiant you did a dis defiant chapstick uh scam. So I'm not putting it in the garbage disposal. That's a that's one of the rules I garbage disposal. Uh some some the chapstick thing's gotta be addressed somehow. It's not going anywhere. It, it's it's gotta be it's got to be addressed. You have a lip problem, but it's a banned thing from the stream. That went back to Wednesday. That see, a banned thing is permanent. It wasn't banned for one stream, or it, it was banned forever. No, no, I banned it as the director of this stream, and it's permanently banned. So you're you can chap up you can uh, chap up your lips any other time you want off the stream, but it's not to be done on the stream. Nobody wants to see it. Well, the Vaseline isn't. Uh, can you say that again? I don't think people heard you. I said that I grabbed the Vaseline next to me and I put the Vaseline on my lips. Okay, that's not banned. N not banned yet. But the, but the <laughs> chapstick... Are you serious? But, are you fucking serious? Yes, I didn't ban... I, we didn't put a ban on the chapstick cause you on the uh, Vaseline. Now, you don't have to do it right now. So then I, so then I can grab this? Yeah, but you don't... I don't say, want hey, you to... Hey, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put some Vaseline on my lips and then you're gonna go, well, what the fuck are you doing? And, and then I go like that? Right? You're going to get mad at me for doing this, I'm too. Not, I'm, I'm a little annoyed that you had to do it right this second, but it's not 
something that I banned. I mean, not yet. If you overdo it and like, for instance, let's just walk this back a bit for anybody that wasn't here on Wednesday. The reason we ban the chapstick is because you reach for it all the time. It's like this nervous thing that you do. It's like, uh, it's like this, it's like, you know how, you know how other like uh, comedians and podcasters, they do the full sip where they, you know, it's like if they're nervous about something, it's like a quirk. They, they reach for a drink and sip it when they don't know what to say. It's like you reach for that. That's your crutch. And you did it on Media Share uh, Day, which is now Wildcard Wednesday slash Media Share Wednesday, where there was a video. And right at the button point of the video, you looked down to reach for your chapstick right in that moment. Okay. So that, that's why we banned it. Okay. Okay? So instead of defi- – and, 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 and that has to be addressed because now you defiantly did it – you did it once – on error, and then you defiantly did it the second time. So that that has to be addressed somehow. Okay, 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 okay. I'm very sorry. So, but if you have any ideas on uh, the penalty for that, you let me know. I thought putting it in a garbage disposal. Can I can I ask a question about this knife now too? Yes. Since it's a broken knife, yeah. I mean, uh, show the knife. Show, the, just, let's just make sure. It's 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 freaking. This case is a beautiful case. So keep I'm not going to deny this case. Keep the case regardless. Beautiful case. But when when it comes to opening this knife, the the spring broke inside, and, and all it does is... is yeah, all yeah. right. So if you want to trash it, you can trash it. I mean, that was a nice gift that Robert gave you, but if it doesn't work, it, it doesn't work. a very nice gift that Robert gave me. All right. Oh, by so, the way, I mean, by the it, way, on, on your sneaky pee just now, you didn't do the stairs. You got to do the stairs. I'm sorry. The chat's reminding me. You got to do the stairs every time you pee. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Where'd you go? That second camera stinks. What second camera in my house? Yeah, it's, it's your old camera. It's just not. It's not as good compared to that. Don't touch it, please. Uh, it's just not as good compared to this. Not as clear. This this camera is awesome. Yeah, I think we got to get a second camera of this exact camera to match uh, the picture quality. Um, should I wipe that down? Why did you... Let me take a look at it. Why did you touch it? No, I'm just asking. No, no. Need to watch. no that's fine. I gotta freaking wipe this... Um, this... Uh, uh, monitor down. Because of all that crap you made me blow into the yeah that was like month that was like a long time ago why wouldn't you I know why you've done I know I haven't done I haven't cleaned since that see the problem is you wait too long to clean things and then they become a bigger problem it's not a problem it's just it's right, let's do another uh, we're, we're or... gonna we're gonna try back cafe lose a little bit let's try another subscriber Sunday call I just sent it to you why would I why would I go why would I call Cafe Luz again? Because you're paid to do it. Under, you know, you know the, the the thing that you just said earlier that uh, you make no money at. You just got paid a hundred bucks for it. Oh. I I'm sorry again. I didn't realize that. Uh, I make a lot of money from the stream and. Uh, that comment that I made saying that I'm not making any money, it was a wrong comment to make. So I apologize, please. I know my cousin Mark is going to get in my face now for making that stupid remark that I made. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Right here. Who is he? Uh, this is Perry Caravelle alive. Who am I speaking with, please? Hey, Perry! It's Vladimir Putin! Who? Vladimir Putin! 
the leader Ro of Russia. Ro rocking rock. Vladimir Putin. Oh, uh, Vladimir, so wait, 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 this is Vladimir Putin? Da, we love you, Aaron. We love taking care of your life. Interesting. Um, and you're in, you're in the States right now? Gary, I'm XKGB. You, that's why you call Americanski number. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're XKGB and that's why I call what? American number. Right. Gary, I need your help with my election. I am running for re-election again for the 10th time. I need your help with Gary Gettabello Life. Why would I, why would I help you? Gary, have you ever seen a Russian woman? They're fucking gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Russian women. Gina Carano, she looks like a fucking man. Who? Gina Carano. She doesn't look she like looks a man. Like a man. She doesn't look like a man. No, Betty. you're wrong, fool. Betty, all right, let's get to this. Let's get to the bottom of this. So last election, I only got 105%. 105% of the vote. <laughs> which, means you got, which means you got the entire vote. Yes, but I want more vote. So I need you, Betty, listen to me. I need you to tell the 92th story no. Rush. No. Barry, listen to me. You'll say I answered a ad in the KGB. You for wait, a wait, Maria wait, 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 wait. look alike. I'm an American, dude. Look, I, I, look I'm an American. I'm an American Italian. I'm not, I'm not talking about no KGB. I, I want nothing to do with the KGB. Uh, and I want nothing to do with you or your Russian women, okay? Let them stay Betty. in Russia, and, and then you can stay in Russia, and, and I want Betty, nothing to do with the KGB. I answered at in KGB to be, huh? I'm to a loyal, a look, I'm loyal to my country. I'm being a and I'm loyal to my, my family. He, he blew me. I jerked him up. Go, uh, go fuck yourself, you low life Gulag. piece of shit. Go fuck Betty, yourself. Good you day. You go to Gulag. You're a lying oh, bastard. Good day. Fuck him. Cocksucker. I'm loyal to the KGB. And I suck dick. Bullshit. Fucking asshole. Oh, God. Why, why? Perry, my love. Are you going to cheat on me and beat me like you did to your ex-wife? I don't mind, but I'd like to cheat and hit you as well. Look, look. I learned from that mistake that was a long time ago. Uh, also, let's add to this matter. I was on the wrong medication at the time, and uh, I, I fucking wigged out because of being on the wrong medicine now. Now I'm on the correct stuff. <clears throat> to keep me uh, mentally level. There's no way I would ever lay a fucking finger on you. You'll kill me. You'll fucking kill me. There's no way I would lay a finger on you. I watch you fight. I watch it on the phone. You you fighting. <laughs> You're a deadly little girl. That's actually who I want to be married to. A woman that knows how to kick some ass. And you're going to be my wife in some near future. We'll see how that works out. I hope it is a good one. And there is no way I would ever lay a finger on you. I'll leave that all for you to do. We just spoke to Perry's apartment manager and they agreed to lift the two guest limit for Perry's banana blowout party next Saturday. No attendance cap. 
You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a motherfucking liar. So shut your stupid mouth. Stop making dumbass remarks like that on my stream and go blow it out your fucking ass. There is no party at my complex. Period. Just spoke to my manager. Go fuck yourself because you're not allowed to talk to my manager. It's Sunday. How, how do you talk to my manager when there's nobody there on Sunday? You lying motherfucker. CNN is buzzing. Apparently people like the cut of your jib. This story has been making the rounds. How did you get the cut of your jib to be so? I have no idea what you mean by the cut of your jib. Stupid assholes. Thank you for subscribing. New fan here. Barstow is awesome. They give us unlimited mole cola. Molinder talks every day at 12 a.m. until 12 p.m. They say December 12th, 2021 is Oh, you're a fucking a sick bastard, you stupid motherfucker. Jagoff. Dustin Hedberg. Jagoff. If you're in fucking Barstow, you stupid motherfucker, at this fucking douchebag's compound, get the motherfuck out of there, you dumb fucking idiot. Barstow, in here in Barstow. Yeah, right. You're back in Detroit. Fucking imbecile. Lying bastard. You want to talk shit, you motherfucking bag of shit? Tony Hawk invented snowboarding. Who the fuck is Tom Sims anyway? Another random bum you sucked off. You're a lying motherfucker. And if Sims was alive today to uh, stand up for his, his business, boy, he would sue your stupid ass and put you in, put you in the courthouse big time. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. So that, that rude, ignorant remark, I, I, just don't, I don't even want to deal with it. Okay, because I, I have medical problems and I don't want to be putting myself in the hospital over my medical stupidity. Jiz McBall is here. I talked with your apartment manager. They gave me full permission to shoot Bone Smugglers 39 at your place. You down to fluff? Uh, excuse me. But the pornography shit going on here again is not allowed. That, that used to happen when uh, uh, um, Lauren Green's son owned this complex. Not anymore. Now that Moss owns this building, no longer are there, there are going to be porno shoots here. Okay? No longer. There used to be a lot of porno shoots here. Quite some time when I first moved in. Percy, make sure you make some room under the AC for my DJ equipment. The banana blowout party will bump nothing but the best. Bones. You're not allowed here. The, your, your, your DJ equipment is not allowed in my home. There's no room for it in here. There's no blowout party here. I'm not, I'm not having a party here. Fucking imbecile. DJ equipment. Fucking party here. Yeah, right. Sure. <sighs> P. 
Perry's Riley Hockey Cocksucker. Never hang up on me all guy dot we know you blew Randy in 92 because you love cock. You suck at skating old man. Block this motherfucker right now. Block him. Block him. Block him. Block him. Lying motherfucker. I don't want to hear any fucking thing out of his fucking mouth, the piece of shit. The best thing you can do now is to send Gina Carano some dick pics and nude selfies. She would love them and it's the smartest thing to do. LLLL. No, it's not the smartest thing to do, Jag Off. That'll get me in trouble on this internet. Dumb fuck. Smartest thing to do is block your stupid name from the, making rude remarks like that on my internet. Hey, Perry. Why did you get mad at the middle name change? Francis is an Italian. The fans should be able to change it at the pool party. Because my, my name is Frank. Nobody's changing my fucking name. No one. I don't give a fuck what you say. There is no fucking party at all. Nor will there ever be a party here at all. If I'm having a party, it's a private party with private people. Not your fucking uh, Hollywood fucking uh, showdown. You want to have a fucking party? There's a beach 20 minutes away. Scarlett and Gina, remember the credits for Wendy City Heater for Perry Caravello, not the Caravello imposter. See you at the Club Bloom eating girls. Asshole! You're the imposter! K-A-R-A-V-E-L-L-O is an imposter name. C-A-R-A-V-E-L-L-O is my birth name. You fucking jag off. You're the imposter! Stupid motherfucker. I've been wanting to tell you for years how much I love and admire your performance in Windy City Heat. You inspire me Thank and you. I am honored to be here. That's an, it's an honor to have you on my stream. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Dreyfus. I'm, I uh, also want to give you a, a compliment. Let's go back some years to uh, American Graffiti. That was a fun movie. It was an awesomely done film. And I want to give you a compliment and taking you back to the mid 70s. What was that 74 through 70? I don't know. Between 70 or between 74 and 76 was when uh, uh, American Graffiti came out. That I remember. I mean, I was a young kid, but it was a great movie and a lot of fun. And I know you must have had a ball making that film. With all those hot rods and and all those uh, uh, real cool cars back in the day, and if I had uh, a way of getting in contact with you, God, my God, I'd love to work work for you or work with you on a film project or something. So uh, contact my publicist Tom Brennan at uh, Brennan Entertainment and uh, give him a uh, a shout out or, or excuse me. Here, here, excuse me, time out. To hire me for anything, contact Brennan Entertainment. And that, that's, that's how you find a way of hiring me. I'm a little bewildered right now with the craziness that's going on. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, you stopped doing hard drugs in 2000. Could you have been high or hung over during the events of 1992? Is your recollection perhaps skewed?
No, I wasn't high in 92. Okay. I didn't do drugs in 92. Started doing drugs in 95. Hey, Tom B. I hereby challenge you to a duel. After months, I found Pacifico. It's Ambrosia. Now I'm tortured by the rarity. Hashtag tips for tomb. Okay. What? I don't understand what that's all. Is that just for you to answer, Tom? I think, it, I think because I mentioned Pacifico beer and uh, Patrick is enjoying it and... Uh, it's very nice, especially if you can find it on tap. If you can find Pacifico on tap, that's really nice. But it's good in a bottle too, even good in a can. Uh, but yeah, and thanks for the thanks for the tip. I appreciate that. Thank you, Patrick. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Cheers. Very good. Very very good. <clears throat> I'm not saying that I had anything to do with your disability scam coming to an end, but whoever made that happen is a real American hero. Scam master. Oh, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. That means you have something to do with it. That means you have something to do with it. You motherfucker. Mm. I got to find a way to fucking put you out of your fucking misery, you motherfucker. Bitch. Scammer, you need to make up for the chapstick scam. Microwave a handful of Vaseline for five minutes. Then slap oh, it on your tattoo. Fuck yourself! Fuck you! You don't put a microwave a fucking can of Vaseline in a fucking microwave, you jag off! Stupid asshole. Microwave is off limits to, to anybody on this stream. Perry, I will give you $3 if you don't flush the toilet until end of stream, then grab a cup, take out of toilet, and pour on your head. Okay, cool. You're sick. You sick fuck. That's disgusting. I would never do something like that. Ugh. Thank you for subscribing. Here's a quick offer, Perry. This is from uh, Tolkien, who you turn, turned down or, earlier, and this might also work as um i don't want to say the word punishment but as um payback for the uh, chapstick scam earlier he's offering you 15 dollars for you to hang your fanny pack from the dining room light to the end of the stream no that's easy let's just try it Is it, too, if it if it's too? I don't want the light to come crashing down, but you know maybe you can take them things out of it to to lessen the weight. I don't want it. No, fifteen dollars is to pay for uh, hanging this on the dining light. Okay. Don't Six. I, wait, we can't hear you. Tell them six hundred dollars. You just said sixty, and now you're changing it to six hundred. You all right? No. T 
test it out. Don't. How is it? Is that too much stress on it? Feel it, because I don't want you to rip it down. Ch check it. Check it. Is that too much? If it's too much stress, I don't want you to. That looks like it might be too much stress. That's all right. Really? No. Turn no I think it's. I, I think it's hanging. I think you got to lighten the load in there. I think you got to take some things out. That means nothing. Nothing. Not gonna be done. Well, you technically did it. It didn't say to the end of the stream. I, I added that. You technically did it. Dang. But that's up to him if he wants to uh, cover that. But you technically did it. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Let's try back, um, Kev. No, come on. You've had enough sneaky peas. Come on back. Let's try back uh, Cafe Lou's. I just sent you the... Try, try them back again. Sorry, I don't know why. Um, I just sent you the number. Remember, you gotta say... Hopefully they answer. Uh, is Perry Carvel alive? I'm live on my stream. I was in there yesterday. And, you know, you were rude. I want an apology, an explanation, you know, however you want to handle it. But the important part is introducing yourself and telling them that they're live on the stream. Right. Let me do that again. Hopefully they actually pick up their phone. Otherwise, we'll call back. I think they won't be. Because of... Uh... They better pick up their phone. That's all I can tell you. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The wireless customer you called is not available at this time. Please. Verizon Wireless. Forget That's it. That's weird. That, so the two numbers that I have for them turn out to be wireless numbers. That's strange. That's the exact same number you called earlier. Right. That's strange. Well, I'll tell you what. If we can't get them today, we'll get them on Wednesday. But either way, you call, you'll call Hooters today in Costa Mesa. And, and that's going to be a nice one where you're going to say, hey, I want to tell you that I was treated poorly at Cafe Luz. I came to you guys and I was treated great. You know, go through the whole thing. Tell them. Not, not now. We'll do that. I mean, I already, I've already explained myself when I stopped in the Hooters well, yesterday. Well, Perry, the whole point is... The whole point is uh, telling them on the phone so everybody can hear. You know, we weren't with you when you went into Hooters. So, uh, battery low on the earpiece. All right, let's let's rather avoid. It. Why don't you just put it on the charger now? Okay, I'll disconnect. Okay. That. Just try. I'll I'll. All right. Just try not to talk over me if you can. Yes, sir. Um. All right. Let me see if they, I can get another number for them. Uh, I wouldn't waste my time. A third number? I don't think so. Yeah, but it's weird that both numbers that they have listed are wireless numbers. That's that's never a good uh, sign for a business. Uh, all right, I'm Let gonna me send... go pee. I'll be right back. No, please. no, no. You just pee. Didn't you just pee? Some minutes ago, not just now. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Wait. Stairs. Stairs. Sorry. Stairs. Stairs. Oh, shit. Stairs. Before you pee. Stairs. Mail that one in.
Very good. All right, I just sent you the next number. This is not Cafe Lou's. This is subscri regular subscriber Sunday call. Yeah, 570 is not the Orange County anyway. Hope everything's okay next door. Hello? This is Perry Caraville Live. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh, Perry, hi. Um, so I'm outside with a couple of my friends, and they're like, we forgot the code for the front gate, and we were wondering if you could let us in. Who is this? It's Chelsea. The party's today, right? There is no party. Well, then why did you invite us? I never invited anybody to a fucking party! You stupid can you asshole! In, Perry? Can you just let us in, please? I literally I brought all my friends down here. I literally see people partying in the pool area right now. You're a liar. I'm not. Come outside and find it. Literally, it's outside. Did you not pick today for this entire thing? There is no fucking party, you stupid fucking whore! No fucking party! Please just let us in. Stop doing this. You always do this. You always do these little things, these little jokes. You think Goodbye. it's funny. You go, oh, I'm, no, there's no party. There's no party. You do this all the time. And then there's always. I never party. throw a fucking party here. There's literally people out here right now. Literally people right out, right I don't out give in the a pool shit. right now. I don't give a shit. I'm not going outside. Can you at least tell us the code to the thing then so I can kind of. Fuck end? you! Fuck you! Get out of my fucking property! 22, right? This is the right building. What? 7722. This is the right address, right? Why? Because we're here. I just said that. Do not listen to me, Perry. We go through this every week, so? I swear. Go. Get the fuck out of my, my, my. Just go away. Can you please just let us in? Please. For this what? Isn't funny anymore. For what? Oh my God, Perry! For what? I'm gonna just come through your back. I'm gonna come through your your side door then, because it's just ridiculous. You're, you're you're not. If you come over my my uh. You're my one hundred and two, right? Uh, can you open? Can you open the sliding door? I'm not opening. You don't have up to open anything. the screen now, because I'll just go through the screen. I am not opening nothing. I'm going to call the it's cops absolutely. is what I'm going to do. Literally, you're I'm calling the police. Right you're a now, fucking Perry. whore. I'm calling the police. Disgusting. Have you ever come out here and actually cleaned up out here? Jesus Christ, Perry. My friends are, I'm embarrassed to even have my friends here now. There's shit everywhere out here, Perry. And you're not, nobody's out there. Sick psycho bitch. Lying fuck. You're really, this is like really not funny anymore though. Like, no, you're not funny either. Okay. You're not coming in my house. You're not allowed in my building. Period. Why not? You literally invited me. I never invited you. If I... you didn't invite me, why would I send you the poster, Perry? We literally went over what this. What poster? What poster, Perry? What it poster? Happened. We literally, this is exactly the same phone call we had. Like, Two weeks ago, the poster, the purple poster that I sent you because you asked me to make the flyers and I sent you the poster. I don't you know what the fuck window. you're talking about, you lying You put it bitch. up in your window, the poster. Do you forget things this fast? Oh, this is why you always thing. forget that you're having the pool party because you make these plans. I you set a date. took it and off then everybody my patio window, you out. bitch. Fucking bitch. You, people ask you questions about these parties, these plans that you make. You say you're going to throw all I these away. I never had that. That's a fucking like lie. You're a motherfucking liar. You're a fucking lying fucking whore. You're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. Shut the fuck it's up! Interesting. It's interesting how you remember very specific details about your life. 1992 story, you can say it all the time. Back and forth. You no, know 1992. Will not. No, but no God more. forbid you forget the context. And the, and the scheduling and the dates that we go through. There is we no have through pool party. Week. Never was a pool party. You're a fucking animal. My God. I'm literally, I'm absolutely infuriated with you right now, Perry. Absolutely infuriated. Are you outside by yourself, you stupid bitch? 
No, it's me and my friends. Do you know, listen to the words that come out of my mouth, Perry. I don't even know why I'm still friends with you. Goodbye. Good day. Can you please just let us in? We literally drove like 45 minutes to get here. Yeah, it takes 45 minutes to go anywhere around here. Okay, yeah. If you're not going to let us in, can you at least bet money for the gas? Because that's ridiculous. Money for what? For my gas money. We, no, I no, no I never invited minutes. you over. It used to be, if you wanted to waste your stupid ass time to drive over to, my, to this place to fuck with me, go fuck yourself. That's Why exactly what you did. Why you fuck with you? We're friends. We're not friends. I don't know who you are. What's your name? I just told you my name. It's Chelsea. We've said this before. Chelsea. Perry, I'm literally heartbroken that you don't think that we're friends anymore. We've had these talks all the time. We talk all the time. Really? You literally personally invited me to your house. Why would I have when? made you that poster? Why did I invite you to my house? If I, didn't want to, to, if I didn't want to participate in this party with you. Why do you think we're even throwing this whole thing? Because it's for you. We all like you. It's not like this is like a big, like, everybody's laughing at Perry situation. This is your party. Yeah, thanks, Chelsea. But uh, sorry, dear. You have no clue on what it's like to live in an apartment complex where you are not allowed to have parties. I mean, I guess not. But I thought that we had already talked to Jan and we covered everything. She said it was fine. Jan, Jan, the Jan's the manager. Jan is the big manager at the main office. She doesn't run this building right now. I mean, you she seemed like Jan. it was fine when we talked to her. You spoke to Jan. Yes. She Remember, was... she called you. She literally said that you're about to get evicted because of everything. And I was like, listen. Yeah, exactly. Let's, just, let's talk it out. I said, let's talk it out. I said, you know, I think that there's been a little bit of jealousy coming from the other tenants of the building because they're not cool and famous like Perry is. And they're trying to push him out, right? Would you agree? No. You don't agree that everybody in your building is trying to push you out because they're jealous of you? Because you're a celebrity? That's 100% the truth. Every time, every time I have been over there with you, there I always hear people talking about how they're jealous of you and how they wish they were you. Well, there's no... Look, being a celebrity doesn't mean squat when you don't make millions of dollars like your Tom Cruise or Tom Hanks. Okay, but Jan thought it was enough for you to be able to get the green light, the only person in the building to be able to throw a party of this size. I don't. I'm not allowed to throw a party here of any size. Ever. Get it through your thick skull, God damn it. Oh, my God. Okay, well, listen to me. Next time, okay, that you decide that you want to go on one of these crazy, like, oh, I'm going to plan this big event and everybody's going to have fun. We're all going to have this big thing. Next time you decide you want to get on one of these little things, these little ideas that you can't let go of, then can we at least try to plan it in a place where everybody can come? Because you continuously trying to throw parties at your house and then throwing a part like a big fit when you get scared or you get cold feet about having people over and seeing your gross-ass apartment and you decide you want to pull the plug at the last minute. You're so full of shit and a fucking liar and so and, and so sick and trying to say that I'm trying to fucking say that I'm having a fucking party. You know, I, I'm tired of it. Telling me, are you telling me right now that me and five of my hottest female friends are not allowed to come into your house right now? Yeah, I'm telling you. I, I Are you, why, are you gay? No, I'm not gay. Is this why they kicked you out of Cafe Lou? <laughs> I'm not gay, you weirdo. I'm so disappointed right now. I'm going to do myself a favor and I'm going to walk to the front front of my building and come back. If you let us in, I promise you, if you let us in, my friend Renee will show you her tits. Yes, I'm going to walk to the front gate and if I see you there, I might say something. If I don't, okay. and I'll be right back. Give me... Give me okay. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Okay. Well, I'm, t I'm timing you. I'm going to lie and say that you didn't invite us, Perry. Nobody out there. Hi, yeah, I literally am looking right at you. Nobody, nobody out there, you fucking... I just saw you. You literally walked out. You flipped us off and you came back in. 
And you're going to lie on camera now? We're going home. Perry, I'm hanging up on you. Jag off. Go fuck yourself, you fuck! Lying fucking whore! Fucking whore! Fucking stupid bitch! Call me a fucking jag off. Lying fuck. Somebody's moving in. They got the gate wide open for them to move in. Somebody's moving in or moving out. You there, Tom? Yeah, what's up? No, no somebody's moving. And uh, this broad is trying to talk shit like she's at the front gate. It was just plain stupid. Imbecile. Well, was she there? Nobody was there at the front gate. The gate's propped open for somebody moving. Maybe she's uh maybe she's at the gate uh, uh where the cars come in. I'm not stupid, you stupid ass. But you, there's more than one gate into your complex. There's one gate in the front. That's it. No, there's another gate where cars come in. She's not at the car gate. That's got zero to do with the front gate. Uh, okay, I'm just saying I can understand how one would mix that up. Yeah, uh, like, like a fucking imbecile. If you're going to fucking come into the car gate, you're really looking for trouble. New fans. In 92, Perry blew a few casting directors until he found RC. Finding his dream oh, cock, he sucked Randy off almost daily for months. Hashtag are you truth. a lying motherfucker? Yes, you are a lying motherfucker. Block that motherfucker as well as the other motherfuckers that I said to block. Block him now! Block him now! Block him fucking now! Come on, Perry. You know what you got to do. We're Give done. the children We're of Melander what done. they I'm want, Perry. Right now. No, you're not, Perry. No, you're right not, Perry. No, you're not. No, I'm you are not. Right the fuck now. And that shit comes up again. I'm fucking turning my goddamn computer. No, you're out. not. No, you're not. Okay. Absolutely not. No, you're not. Get yourself together. Enough of that. I don't want to hear anything about being gay. Because I'm not that fucking gay. You stop. fucking gay son of a bitch. Stop. Stop. I'm asking you to Shut stop. Up. Shut no. up. Get a hold of yourself. Unnecessary. I got to replay that now. Catch yourself. I'm going away. I'm not, I don't want to hear it. Where are you going? Wanna... Stairs. You got to do the stairs. You got to do the stairs. You got to do the stairs. 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 If you're going to Sneaky P, you got to do the stairs. Stair scam. Stair scam. You got to do the stairs if you're doing a sneaky pee. Fucking asshole! Oh, you son of a bitch! You got to do the stairs.
done now? You gotta do the Hopefully. stairs. You gotta, you gotta do the stairs, Perry. You were paid to- I'll fuck you with the goddamn stairs! No, it's not me. You were paid to do it. So just, can you do the stairs so we don't have a stairs scam, please? Thank you. Is that so hard? Fucking headache. You guys give me a yeah, fucking I, I, headache. Oh, 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 they gave you a headache. Come on. It, it wasn't they you give screaming. me a fucking headache. No, you give yourself one by acting like a dopey, dingling, dingbat dope and screaming and yelling at everybody. Give me a break. Hey Perry, sorry you bruised your arm in my butthole last night. You always try to shove it in so deep, one day you'll learn. Love your fisted butt. Fuck yourself, you fucking low life. Falling on rollerblades is not shoving my arm up your ass. Is that what he's trying to say? Is you bruised your arm doing that? He thinks that I shut my arm up his ass. Dumb fuck. God. People are just so fucking rude. So fucking rude. <sighs> Excuse me. Thank you for subscribing. Wow, guy who was days away from being on the street says $15 isn't good enough money. You should be ashamed, Perry. Disrespect for your fans? Apologize now. Kiss my ass! Kiss my fucking ass! I did apologize, you fucking loser! I said I was sorry. Can you wish Agent Proper a happy birthday? He's been a fan since you spin the wave on your neck. Spin the wave on my neck? I don't remember. I, I, I never put a microwave on my fucking head. I don't remember that. But. Would it kill you to say, Happy Birthday, Agent Proper? Happy Birthday, Agent Proper! Can you be a little more excited about it? The guy's a big fan. I said, Happy Birthday, Agent Proper! Right, but then I you like shook... I keep but, repeating myself. Well, well, right. Well, the first time you did it, you, you shook your head in disgust like it was like some terrible thing. So, it's always a terrible thing when I when I when I don't feel right. Well, you don't feel right because you d don't take garbage out anymore with uh, rollerblades. No, don't lose my balance and fall backwards on my on my fucking arm, fall on my ass like a dumbass. When you're falling backwards, you never put your arms out. You're supposed to just sit and fall on your butt. Here's a quick here's a quick offer. This is from Ed P. And this is simple. Twenty dollars for you to play uh, back to, to play the guitar on your play the back brace like a guitar, the way Hulk Hogan used to. So the uh, the belt, like what? Hulk Hogan used to take his belt, you know, his weightlifting belt, and play it like what? air guitar on the belt. So can you play air guitar on the belt that you're wearing right now? And you get twenty bucks for it. Very simple. Very easy. Yeah, let me get some music for you. Keep going. That's not the music I want to hear! 
That's the only one I have in the tank right now. So you just play some yeah. air guitar on this? Yeah. Yeah. No, not... no, Perry. It's 20 bucks to play air guitar on a belt for 20 seconds. Can you just be a team player and do it, please? Not with that stupid Ricky Horny shit. Well, that's the only song I have. So let's just deal with it. All right, that was good. Thank you. Do we announce now or announce in two weeks or announce next week that we're shutting down for a while? We're not shutting down for a while. Take, we're taking a week off in September. It's not a big deal. Okay. That to me is a big deal because of uh, what's going on. <sighs> One week or two weeks? One or two. I, I haven't figured it out yet. Perry, you are lying. I live stream and record at Cafe Luz all the time. They love the free advertising. Hashtag Cafe Luz scam. Hashtag Perry lies again. Well, guess what? I want nothing to do with those losers. I drove yes, all the way down there from over here. It was a three-hour drive with the stupid fucking traffic on the fucking freeway. Right, but since you were darting around... Uh you didn't really pay attention to uh, what they were saying. He was saying that he live streams from there all the time and they love free advertising. So why did they pick on you? Because I have my my cell phone on and I'm fucking videotaping as I'm walking in. And that's... And you fucking... You, you free... Wait, wait, wait. You said you live stream from there all the time? Why? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why do they pick on me? I don't get it. Do not fucking get it. You know, somebody in the chat just said the, the truth, and I said it before. I'll say it again. I did tell you not to go on Friday. When it, it sounded fishy. Well, uh, there was a blackout here, Jagoff. Where else am I gonna fucking go? Oh, oh, gee, I don't know. The beach, the movies, uh, Target, uh, you know, a restaurant. Uh, uh, I, I can keep going. The mall. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I could have gone to the beach. Could have gone to the movies. Could have gone to a restaurant. You don't get in the traffic and drive three hours to something that you think somebody invited you when they're, they're, they're probably Look, just. Go ahead. I've I've been getting all these girls sending their their their. Uh, their uh, head sh well, not head shots, but I mean their their full body shots of them in the bikinis and shit from Cafe Lou. Well, I saying, hey, we, you gotta come on over to the Cafe Lou, blah, 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 blah. So I figured, okay, I might as well go out to Costa Mesa uh, and visit Cafe Lou's. And while I'm down there, stop at Hooters and get a new Hooters shirt that's more my size now, since I'm getting a little bit bigger. Uh, okay. And I. And I figured while I was down there, I'd stop at uh, um, Hooters, and I did. Right. But did they personally contact you specifically for you to come down there? Do I have to go on my cell phone and, and uh, find a fucking uh, uh, you know remark what? from them? I think it's worth. I think it's worth. I think it's worth the hour that's this is going to take. But yeah, find me specifically where they wrote to you and said, Perry, we need you down here at Cafe Lou's. They didn't, here it is. There's another girl. Let's Beautiful see Lorraine here. Can we see it? Beautiful. Let's see if it'll see. First thing that came up. This is Cafe Lou's Beautiful Lorraine here till till close. 
What is, is okay, that a per, is that a message? Girl. Is that a message that's specifically tailored to you? It's not specifically tailored to me, but it just says, just says uh, Cafe Loop, beautiful Lorraine here to till close with a picture of a heart. Okay, but I'm looking for specifically what the invite was that, that, that sent you down there. Let's see. There's Jojo Baby. Uh, let me see if there's a invite. Um, no. On oh, wrong page. Hold on. Um. Jojo Baby. Skylar are, are you May. looking through? Like, are these all personal messages to you? Like, what are you looking at exactly? I'm looking at my my page. Hold on. Um. <coughs> it says hi. What, what, without okay I don't think you're going to find it but what specifically was it that you saw that you interpreted as an invitation just a picture of, of a bunch of girls it was a, a group shot and and it and said hey Perry telling... come on down yeah it didn't, say, it didn't say my name Perry come on down it just says come visit uh, uh, Cafe, Cafe Lou and he gave the address. So it was an advertisement. Okay, if you want to call it an advertisement. What would you call it? Okay, maybe it's an advertisement. No, but what would you call it? If I'm calling an advertisement, what would you call it? The same thing. So how is an advertisement a personal invitation for you to come down specifically? Uh, it's an advertisement, okay? Are you coming to that realization right now, or or is this? Yeah, something? all right. I'm 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 wrong, for for jumping in my car, taking a three hour drive south, on the four hundred five, to to go visit girls, at at a uh, at a coffee bar slash, coffee slash coffee shop restaurant whatever the fuck, and and uh, it's it's a completely closed up facility. Uh, so you couldn't it, find it. it. You want to go to the Cafe Lou since we're spending this so much time. You want to go to the Cafe Lou's Instagram page, and and see my where you the thing that you might have been uh, attracted to. That that made you jump yeah. in your car. And and again, I'll say on Friday I told you not to go. That this sounded suspicious. Cafe Lou, world famous. Yeah, like go? like go through go through all their posts and and determine if they're personally tailored to you or not. Messages. Messages. View profile. Um there's the street address and then pictures of all the girls. Right. But try to. But where's the one that you were like, "Oh my God, I gotta get in my car and go down there" because they're asking me to come down there. Not, oh my God, I gotta get in my car and go down there. Okay, Look, so how did you? Get out of black out here. I'm hanging out with my manager till like twelve, twelve thirty. No, I know. But even the night before on Friday, when you had full electricity, you were talking about going down there. So what was the post that got you to say? Oh my God! I gotta go down and see these. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm adding, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. I'm not interested in the oh my God bullshit. It's okay, just... forget about oh my God. The the thing that made you say, "Wow, these girls want me down there. I should drive down there at some point." Well, I got Jesse Cakes thirty three. No, I'm not interested in her. Baby. I'm only Those interested in Cafe Lou. Girlfriends. I'm only uh, interested. For all I know, they might be working there as well. Okay. So see, I now, mean... okay. Before we enter the weeds, I just am interested in Cafe Lou's profile specifically, and I'm interested in the post. This is what's going to send me down there. Beautiful girls. Orange County girls. Okay? Okay. That's what's going to send me down there. What's the Instagram Nothing account? Nothing more said. Nothing right. more said. <laughs> okay. Um, what's their Instagram Doesn't page? Doesn't a major post? I mean, I'm looking at pretty girls. Right. You said to, to me, though, you said on Friday, and I'm paraphrasing again, so forgive me if I don't have the exact wording right. You said, uh, the girls, my girlfriends at Cafe Lou are, have been uh, messaging me all week telling me that, that I should go down there. That's pretty much what you said. 
I so don't I just remember. I don't remember saying it like that. Okay. I don't remember saying it like that at all. It was around. It was just about that. And even you said it earlier, where they've been writing you all week, asking you to go down. So I'm just looking for the part where they literally asked you to go down. Well, no, no, they didn't literally ask me to come down. I mean, I so can't what did they? Find these, it, these are your words, Perry. Whatever. Okay. All I'm going to say is whatever. And if you don't like me saying whatever, fine. But that's not an all answer. Right. I'm genuinely I curious. Mistake. I drove down the fucking Costa Mesa where I used to live. The only thing that made me happy going down there was stopping at Hooters, getting a Hooters shirt from Costa Mesa. My right, old look, home. My I'm going to give. Present. I'm going to give the chat a little bit of homework. Okay, this is for people in the chat, not you, since you can't seem to do this. Go to Insta. What is Cafe Lou's Instagram? Is it just Cafe Lou? Cafe Lou. C A F E. Cafe L U. Okay. At Cafe Lou, at C A F E L U. Go to there, just don't don't harass him, don't message him or anything like that. Just look at the main Instagram page. Because I don't have time to do it right now. Go through the posts. Baby girls. If you pop if what is your what is your Instagram name, Perry? You, the, your personal one. Mine is uh, scary Perry W C H. Right. If you follow Perry on Instagram, you have you're gonna have to follow him in order for this to show up. Uh, go to the Cafe Lou Instagram and see if you can find um, him writing. Because if you follow Perry, his his uh, messages to them will probably come to the po the top of the posts. Take a look and see what you can find. Because obviously Perry can't do it. Let's see here. What are you looking for now? I'm trying to go find. I'm going to go to Cafe Lou again. There it is. Cafe Lou, world famous cafe. If you click on a post, do you see where you wrote to them or anything like that? Click on any random I just, post. I, I'm going. I'm clicking. Click on uh, the most I'm like. Messages. I'm touching messages, and it looks like I got to type a message. No, so no, 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 up. no. I'm look. I'm asking you to type on a poke. Click on a post and see if you could see. There your... are no posts. It's it's just. Right. Everything is a direct. Everything is sent directly to you, right? Well, everything that's sent to me is sent directly to me. Correct. All right. Let's let's get out of this. I'm sorry. Okay. I I, I forget uh, let's it. Let's see that. Let's see that. Okay. There's a car wash going on over there. <laughs> Are you able to pull up a random post where you interacted with it? Uh. Let's see if there's. Right. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. No. Okay. I'm actually on there looking right now. You're on there looking right now? Okay. Yeah. You see my name in there? Uh, no. I'm look. I'm well. I follow you, so I'm looking to see. Okay. So I see Sunday Fun Day. No, it's not this one. I'm looking for one from before yesterday. Okay. <sighs> Here's what I found one. Okay. So here, if you look at this one, this is this one is from 21 hours ago, and I'm sorry I can't show it. So it's theater of the mind here. Uh, Cafe Lou says, "Come visit baby Cindy tonight," who's, you know, this woman in a bikini, and right. you write in all caps. You write, "Big fucking deal." Two explanation points and three question marks. Yeah, because I was pissed after what they did to me. Okay, so you are interacting with it. So this is the page you're interacting with. This is on the main, pro th their main post. Okay, I'm scrolling down. Yeah, they pissed me off by I don't throwing see me out here. Um, Piss me off. Here, here. Okay, here's another one. This is this looks like the woman that was in the video. This is in a pink bikini, and this is from uh, one day ago. It says, and it says, "Pretty in Pink, Miss uh, Violarine," and you say. You write under Scary Perry WCH, three hours to drive to you, and one sight on my phone slash camera, and you had to delete it, all capitals. So you were, that's after, right? This is exactly. all. So this, I, I, I'm not looking at private message. This is on like the public profile. Okay, I'm looking at it from my Instagram. Well, yeah, right? exactly. Okay. All right. Three hours to drive to you, and you had to see my phone. And delete me, uh, yeah, they... barely showing anything in your in your. All right, so here's another here's another one that said this. this all right, I'm uncovering some stuff now. So, and, and I'm sorry. Thank you for indulging me, uh, people. Um, okay, now under under your last comment. 
and, and maybe I could. Ow, 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 ow. All right. Let me know when you're done. Let me know, let me know when you're done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, a after your last comment, the three hours to drive to you and one sight of my phone slash camera, and you have the camera icon, and you had to delete it. And then underneath that, as Scary Perry WCH, you say, my publicist slash manager helped me get the deleted, all caps, video back. How dare you try to take away my phone? Three hour drive to see my girlfriends and you act like stuck up fucking bitches. And a whole line of explanation points. So you were pretty worked up. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so this is this is the interaction that's going on. And again, if you're on Instagram, you can see this for yourself. You can see this for yourself. All right. Exactly. Um, let's see, uh, I'm trying to find the... <laughs> okay, here's another one. Um, I will never come back. This is under Come Visit Cindy not, tonight. Not the, not the Cafe Lou. And then underneath you say, Hooters. How dare you treat me like that after you begged me to come down there. Explanation right. point, explanation point. So I'm trying to find where they begged you to come down. How dare you treat uh, me like that after you begged keep me Keep sending me photos of your pretty girls. What does that say? It says it's an invitation to show up at Cafe Lou. Okay, this is as far back as I can get. And this is from three days ago. And it's two girls, two very attractive girls, I'll say that. And, it, and it's posted by Cafe Lou, Miss Dean, Miss Drea, and Sexy Josie. And all you write here, this is clearly before you went, you said, I will be there soon. That's all. So was that the invitation? Maybe. I mean, they're, they're, they keep sending me pictures of all their girls. Right. Okay, so we're not going to get to after, the bottom of it. Even after, uh, even after the fucking uh, 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 bitch that grabbed my phone and, and uh, deleted, uh, deleted the... Uh, the, the video of me walking into the place, I mean, it was like, what, less than a, less than a minute straight? When she says, uh, put your phone away, and then, uh, and then the, uh, uh, either the owner or the manager of the facility, he came running over to me, grabs the phone out of my hand, and says, delete this immediately. Right, right as I'm, right Wait, as I'm did he, my did he ask my you to delete it, and then... You couldn't figure it out, and you had to give it to a girl, or they just grabbed it from no, you? No, no, they grabbed it out of my hand, and they said, De delete this immediately. So they asked you to delete so why did they personally delete they it? They didn't ask. They did not ask. They told me, delete it immediately. They didn't kindly say, oh, please delete it. No, no, no. They said, delete it immediately. So the one girl uh, came over and saw my phone, and she... Uh, grabbed it out of his hand and and uh, and got to the the page where the video was and uh, and deleted it and scrolled down and hit the delete button and boom, it was gone and she handed the phone back to me. And then they said you're not allowed in here anymore. Goodbye. Okay, so people can do homework on their own if they want to see this. All you got to do is have Instagram. You probably probably got to follow Perry so he pops up in the comments but just go through cafe lou's post i i went through the ones that i found and uh, you could see the interaction but i don't see i don't see an invitation unless they personally messaged you in addition no to they me. didn't personally message me and saying you know come down here now or, or anything like that they just kept they just pretty girls and just said you know come come visit well, cafe lou's so they were saying come visit cafe lou's like a general advertisement to everybody of course and you in, did you did you take it like that or did you interpret it as this they want you it's to a general advertisement to say come visit cafe lose so did you so did you interpret that as a, a personal invitation to you specifically no no not a personal so what, invitation what motivated you to get in the car so that's Pretty effective girls, advertising orange county girls i'm fucking i got an apartment this i've got a blackout all right, until 8.30 last night. So I said, fuck it. My manager, she, she left. And then the other, the other manager came to uh, take over for her. So I was done visiting with Eve. <clears throat> and I said, fuck it. I might as well just drive, drive south. Got in my car and I drove south. 
for three fucking hours. Right, but once you saw the traffic, like, okay, like, I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but once you saw the traffic, what freeway did you get on? The world famous 405. Okay, so you're on the 405, and I've been on the 405. It can be nasty, so. Once you're sitting in traffic and it's taking longer than, let's say, an hour or whatever, don't at some point you'd be like, "All right, screw this. I should, I should do this. Uh, I should, I should do this another time or not do it at all. This was silly because they didn't. It, it's just an advertisement. Why am I going look, all the way down there? Look, 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 look. Cafe Lose was a failure, but stopping off at Hooters was a winner. End of story. End of story. All right, well, since we're talking about it, let's give these people a... Let's give them another call. Let's try it again. Why? So, they're, because they're you got, gonna because you're getting paid to call remarks. them. That's why. Okay, so if we don't get them today, we'll get them on Wednesday, but you're going to call Hooters uh, regardless. So let's call them again. Remember, Perry Caravello, Perry Caravello Live, tell them they're on the stream, and then ask, ask them for an explanation and an apology for what happened yesterday. Bullshit. Let it ring a little bit. It's weird how sometimes the voicemail picks up and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, the cell phone. Yeah, but a cell phone wouldn't ring or, this much. Or an office phone, but yeah, this is an office. This is. Because earlier oh, on the same is... number, you got like the Verizon wireless message, and here it's just ringing and ringing. Yeah. Verizon Wireless. The wireless there it is. is not available at this time. That's all. We'll try, your all right, we'll try them back. We'll, we'll try them back, but it's probably going to be pushed to Wednesday. Anyway, Verizon here. Wireless says, uh, bottom line, it's, it's not worth uh, calling them again. That's not what they said. It didn't say, no, it, said, I, I, it said this customer is not available right now. It didn't say, hey, don't call back. It's not worth it. I, they didn't say that. Here, I sent you no, the number for who. I Hooters. said it's not worth it. I Let's, said it's not worth it. Okay. Yeah, your interp your interpretations are what my, got my whole remark is it's not worth it. Right. Your interpretations another, are what got you in this mess to begin number, with. Huh? So this no this new number is Hooters. So listen, before you dial it, call Hooters and be like, Hi, this is Perry Caravella, Perry Caravella Live. I just want to tell you about the nice experience I had at Hooters yesterday. I was rudely thrown out of Cafe Lou because I was filming and I went into Hooters, and it's always it was the be highlight of my day. You know, take it wherever you want, but you got to start yeah, with I will. Perry Caravello from Perry Caravello yeah. Live. Of course. It's a new prefix for that area. I'm sorry. Calls that do not display caller ID information are not accepted. Please unblock Whoops. your caller ID information and just, try your call again. Just or call, call with your regular number. number. Thank you for calling. All right. So no stars. No stars. Okay. Yeah. Hooters Costa Mesa. Hi, this is Perry from Perry Caravello Live. I went in there last night and had a beautiful experience. And I want to thank you girls for, for you know, coming in and me picking up my, uh, my new shirt and everything. You guys are the best. I love this restaurant. I love uh, Hooters. I will always be a Hooters fan and someday, uh, you know, want to own a Hooters. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday that I was kicked out of Cafe Lou's 
It was a big pain in the ass. I don't know if it was oh, you. Oh, yeah, I, rem- I remember you. Oh, oh, it's you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah they, they were jerk off. Well, I'm glad there. you had such a good time. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm glad uh-huh. I got the new shirt. It was a pleasure. All right? Yeah, it was great to meet you, too. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure. Cafe Lou sucks. Hooters is the best. Love you guys. Thank you, and I'll see you again next thank time I come you. down. Got it. Good day. Okay, sounds good. You got it. Thank Bye-bye. you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. I like that. I like that. That was very nice. Very nice. So she actually remembered you. That was the woman you dealt yeah. with. Yeah. Well, very. Did you tell her about Cafe Lou's when you walked in? Yeah, I told her. <laughs> yeah, I told her all the bullshit that went on over at Cafe Lou's when I went over there. And she felt bad for me. So, uh, and then I got the, the double extra large T-shirt and uh, left. Wow, that was interesting. I didn't think that <laughs> I didn't think that would go that way. Um, now I'm going to mention this because people in the chat are bringing it up, and wow. since we can't get a hold of Cafe Luz tonight, it would really put a nice button on this. Could you call her back right now and tell her what happened to you in '92? No, no, stop going down that fucking road. I'll end this fucking stream. Right now, and for fucking good, you motherfucker! Stop going down that motherfucking road! God damn you! So that's and every a- other fucking fan! Do you want to know about what happened in 92? Fuck you! Okay, it was just a suggestion, Perry. There's nicer ways to say that. You know, you yeah. say... Well, shut up! You could say no. You want to invite her on the stream? You want to call her back and invite her? Why would I do that? She's working. Okay. No, I mean, you did call them, and that's what was that. I just sometimes like to go above and beyond. You know what? Somebody wrote a review of uh, one of your cameos the other day, and you know what they said? They said, Perry goes above and beyond what is requested, which I take pride in because I help you with that, and you do. Yes. I, You know, it, it's one thing to just, like earlier, you put the uh, fanny pack on the light, and you met the requirement, but I think you could take some things out so it's a little lighter, so it's not as heavy on the light, to go above and beyond. And all I'm asking is to go above and beyond sometimes. Too much. What? Too much. Uh, sometimes you go too much. I can barely hear right you. Right now, with the arm in, in pain like it is, no, I, 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 I don't want to do that. All right. Can you, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you get that earpiece back in? I don't know if you're speaking soft or my vo- my I, my master volume. Is I'm good. not speaking soft. Not I said I said I wasn't sure if you were or not. Somebody in the chat makes a good point. Let's try when you get this in. We'll try calling back Cafe Lou, but without the uh, block on the number because uh, m- that might be hindering it. Are we uh, connected? Hold on, I'm going to call it. Okay. So you want me to call Kevin? I want you to answer this phone first. Hello? Is Perry there? Yeah, I can barely hear you in the ear. Pump, pump the volume up. Well, it's all the way up. Okay. You sure? Yes! You're in my ear, yes. Okay. Um, so call oh, here. Cap- this this number, without- yeah, the first number, the 714. Look at look at the screen. Perry. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going I'm just going to I'm just going to dump it to you again. Uh, call this without typing, without doing the star 67. Let's just call it. <clears throat> okay.
Same bullshit. All right, you can hang up. We'll try them another time. Good. Good. We still have to get to the bottom of this. I'm just saying we're going to table it for a later date, but we still got to get to the bottom okay. of it. Done with that fucking place. Thank you for subscribing. It's my honor to be here and chat with you. A quick search online and I see something about an event in 1992 involving you. What is that about? People, people just keep going back and want to hear about this, uh, this uh, sexual assault that happened to me in 92 and I don't even want to talk about it again. Something bad happened to me back when I first got in the, uh, doing extra work and that, that, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. George Wall is here. Respect for is cutting edge. He's really slicing and dicing things up with his jib. Now stop with all the jibber jabber and whatnot. George, it's been a long time, my friend. How's things? Uh, jibber jabber, jib jib with this J I B. What are you talking about? Was stop, stop this jib. Stop giving me remarks about jib because I don't know what you mean by jib. Jibber jabber, I understand. But you know, jibber jabber, there's no jib or or, or whatever going on. If jib is short for jibber jabber, that means all blah 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 blah. That's what that means. For the fanny pack from the dining light, I feel scammed, but that's a pretty normal feeling with Perry. I like the cut of your jib. Perry. Since since what? he does since he does feel a little scammed, can we maybe try it again with maybe lightening the load a little bit? Oh God! It would be it, it'd be a really nice thing to do to make up for that, I, and I because I I agree it, it's you know but just I I don't want you know to destroy your your dining room light. Um, I know some people would love it, but I don't think that would be good. Um, but it, it would be kind of cool to to just honor that but maybe lighten the load from the actual fanny pack by taking some of the heavy or heavier items out and there's a lot of heavy items in fact if you yeah the wallet and what did you say okay maybe a couple maybe maybe one of the giant bottles of pills All right. Ow, 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 ow. Um, all right. That still seems a little... Is there one thing you could take out? Uh, I guess it's all right. If it looks all right to you, it's all right. God help us if that falls. God help us all. Ugh. Oh. I'm Ricky Horny. I'm Ricky Horny. R I C K Y H O R N Y R I C K Y Ricky Horny. I'm Ricky Horny. I'm Ricky Horny. R I C K Y H O R N Y Ricky. Ricky Horny. You want me to put you back in the hospital? Motherfucker. Ricky Horny. 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 Perry, I got a puppy and gave her your last name. She does about as many sneaky PS as you. Got any tips to make her stop? Well, be by later, Grandpa Pear. You got a dog. That's a dog. A puppy's a dog. 
I'm a human being, but I have a I have a, a urine problem because I'm on medication for for my health. Okay, that's why I have a urine problem. Official offer. Thank you for being loyal. We want to offer you the position of brand ambassador to the gay community. Your 92 incident is inspiring. Thank you, but I'm good. Thank you. But I'm good. Have you heard of the San Fernando sucker? A masked man would go around Southern California in late 90s blowing unsuspecting casting directors. Familiar? I have no clue what you're talking about. I have no clue what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. If you're trying to say that that's me, you're out of your fucking mind. Perry, Chelsea sounded super hot. Why didn't you let her in, dude? It sounded like her and her friends were DTF. Not even outside I bet he would have let RC in. Wow. A fucking lie! Gank? The fucking front gate is open because somebody's moving! Hey Perry, pop a pump here. Can you tell us more about your Asian pussy and how Randy used it? King of the O's. Oh, oh, oh Randy. Oh, 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 oh Randy. My Asian pussy? I've got a few Asian girlfriends, but uh, don't worry about my Asian girlfriends. I'm not going to say any of their names or anything. Mind your own business about my Asian friends. Can I make another offer to you, Perry? Now what? Okay, this one is from uh, Ricky. He's offering $35 if you use the leaf blower to blow all of the popcorn out of the new popcorn tin that you got the other night. The leaf blower is gone. I gave it away. What? I gave the leaf blower to my maintenance man, okay? Oh, that's terrible. That's property of PCL. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, it was actually. It was given to me. It was given to the channel. It was given to me. Yeah, for use on the channel. I gave it to my maintenance man. Oh, you're going to have to get it back. What? You're going to have to get it back. That's not yours to give away. Stuff on the channel belongs to all of us, like the microwave, like the wet back, dry... Uh, the microwave is not yours, motherfucker! That's not fucking yours, you son of a bitch! I'll turn this motherfucking show off right now! The microwave is not yours! It never will be yours! All right. Don't ever say the microwave is yours. The air conditioner is not yours either. Nor is that thing on top of the air conditioner yours. It's all given to me. It's put in my house, given to me. The shop vac is not yours. And I'm not even gonna use the shop vac on the fucking stream again. Well, you can't use and a shop. I gotta shop... take another piss because of this fucking bullshit. You can't use a shop vac if you uh, don't have a shop vac, and you don't have a shop vac. You have a wet dry vac. That's a shop vac to me, goddammit! That, it's not a shop vac. Sorry. That's a shop vac brand, you fucking no good son of a bitch. Okay, that's like calling your Samsung uh, an iPhone. You don't have an iPhone either. T-Mobile is a service. It's not a brand. Samsung! Uh, I'm just making an example. We don't have to get caught up in that. And 
uh, and let's be real, I, I, I actually, I mean, I paid for the uh, wet dry vac, so let's let's be honest. If we're calling the spade a spade, I tech I technically paid for it. And you got to do the stairs, by the way, the stairs. You didn't do the stairs. Thank you. Okay. That was good. Here, let's uh let's get to another uh subscriber sunday call please and that's it for subscribers this week right uh there might be one more okay i just sent it Hello. This is Perry Caravelle Live. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh, hey, Poofy Pants. This is Rick. How's it going? Uh, Rick. Rick whom? If you don't, well, I'm not going to ask your last name. Uh, Peepee -pee Pants. Rick? Thanks for what? Uh, you call me Peepee -pee Pants now? No, Thanks. Poofy Pants. What? Poofy Pants. Harry. I'm not pooping in my pants, that's for sure. Oh, well, you did in Palm Springs. What? 1981 or two, that was? Yeah. It was a good story. Remember? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, anyway, uh, how's it going, Perry? How are you doing? Staying alive. Doing what I can to stay alive. Good, good, good. good. Same here. Hey, um, I wanted to get your opinion. I'm actually learning uh, Italian. You're Italian, right? I don't know how to speak my language. I just know a couple of words, and that's about it. Okay. Well, I was wondering. Um, I've got a couple of phrases that I'm learning, and uh, I was wondering if you can kind of judge them for me. Go ahead. Okay. So this one, okay, I'm going to say, hello, I'm Italian. How are you? Ready? Okay. How was that? What? That's not a... That wasn't a phrase. That was just a stupid. Uh... Oh, okay. I'll, I'll I'll do better next time. Uh, this one is called. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, hey, can I get a slice of pizza? It was How's the that? same thing. Oh, well, you can't judge me. I'm just learning, Perry. You're not. You're not even talking. You're just playing a. Uh... A stupid machine. You're 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 hitting a. You're playing a stupid machine that's making noise. It's going. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. All you're right. Not um, oh, okay, hold on. Um, this one is. Hold on. Um, come and take a dump on my patio, please. You're being gross again. All right, um, how about this one? My name is Perry Caramello, and I love blowing dudes and sucking them down like a milk. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. The same I stupid again? remark. Go ahead again. You're just going, uh. <laughs> Jag off. I don't know. I think, I think it sounds pretty, pretty authentic. What do you think? It's not, you're not saying any words, you moron. You're not all even right, talking. All right, fine. 
That's fine, Perry. Hey, um, you know what? I was actually over by your place the other day, and I saw you had a, a, a restroom sign on your apartment. Uh, what, what's up with that? If some asshole put it on my door. Who would do that? Some jag off. Oh. I gotta I mean, get it, you, I've got to get open, it removed. Oh. Well, did you open your apartment for a public restroom? No. Can I come over? No. I'm pretty close. I mean, I can't. I don't give a fuck. You're not allowed here. Come on. Fuck off, asshole. I really got to go, though. There's a restaurant down the street. There's a Denny's at the corner. There's a McDonald's down the block. There's a Carl's Jr. across the street. You need to use the toilet to go there. If you need to go go to go to uh, uh, the grocery store, go there. Well, the problem is I can't lift the toilet tank, so I can't get it. You're not allowed in my building or in my apartment. Come on, I want to go. Bye bye. Get the fuck off my life. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Good night. I'm gonna come over in like five minutes. No, you're not allowed here. Bye. All right, I'm coming over right now. Goodbye. Bye. I'll be right over. Bye. Okay, I love you, Perry. I want you to pet me. Loser. Disgusting loser. I want you inside. That's just fucking plain gross. Come on, Perry. You know what you got to do. Give the children of Moondrip what they want, Perry. Remove the tattoo and set. <laughs> Free. That's never gonna fucking happen, you motherfucker! Never, ever, 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 ever! This arm doesn't get touched by anybody! Never, ever, 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 ever! So fuck all of you! If by the end of the night Cafe Lou or Hooters haven't answered, I think Perry should call Denise to explain what happened at both places. Fuck you! Mind your own fucking madness! We're done! We're done! Son of a bitch! Perry, will you please go to the Big Three and quit PCL so I can bring you pickles for food and orange soda for drinks, you ungrateful fuck sick. Fuck you, you son of a bitch! The Big Three can kiss my motherfucking ass! They suck, dick, you fucking assholes! Tom Barris is nothing more than a crook and a fucking ripoff artist! I'm not dealing with him again! Fucker. Skateboarding is now officially banned in Afghanistan. Oh, so what? The bad Taliban should be banned on my stream. You're not even supposed to be on my fucking stream. Cocksuckers. I need water. I need fucking water. Hi, Perry. I know you're having a bit of an emotional stream today. I wanted to say nothing has made me laugh more than your streams. You and Tom B are great. Thank you. That's a very nice thing to say. Thank you. That's a very nice thing to say. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like the streams. Thank you. Thank you. My advice to all actors who are trying to make it in the movies, do whatever it takes to get to the top. Suck a dick or two along the way if needed. No, thank you. That's not my job. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not going to suck a dick or, or, or do anything like that ever. Whatever happened to me back in, you know what year it is, but that, that happened, that happened. That was years ago. This is 2021, almost 2022. I don't need to bring up what happened to me back back when that happened. Okay? Pecky, I read in chat that the 92 story is about you force kissing Tony Cox and then blowing him for a piece of cake. That's gross, Are you on dude. your fucking six, mind, six, you six. sick son of a bitch? Go fuck yourself. 
Stupid son of a bitch. Tony Cox was a young boy back in 92. And I was on a film set with him, with Christine Applegate and Elizabeth Pena. Okay? And it was his birthday at, at, the, at, at the film set. They cut a piece of cake. Christina was at the table with a bunch of uh, uh, high-end people, you know, the lead actors and, and other. And I turned around and I said, Christina, would you like a piece of cake? She said, no, thank you. That was my, that was my introduction to Christina Applegate. But now she might be with fucking Mo and Drip and her, her, her daughter or somebody uh, out there in the fucking Barstow area. That, that's just fucking sick if they're out there. And Corey Feldman too, and him and his him and his child out there as well. So you know, it's just it's all gross to me, and 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 and, and despicable what they're doing to to the 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 uh, what the, what this Mo and Drip motherfucker is doing to these people, brainwashing them and confusing them and making them fucking idiots. Shout out to the hate army, the DI agents, and all those tinfoil conspiracy theorists on Kiwi Farms. Dark's Fidel's bones are going in the credenza. DSP is going down. He's not going in my credenza. His bones? Fuck you. Now, he's not allowed in my apartment. Mind your own business about my fucking dresser and my dresser drawers. Because it's a beautiful piece of furniture and a beautiful piece of wood, you keep talking about it. And mind your own fucking business about my furniture and my piece of wood. Scaremaster, your microwave is just as much ours as it is yours. Without all your Fuck PCL you! fans dollar, you wouldn't Fuck have a home to put the microwave Fuck in. You! Stooge. Nothing in my apartment is yours. Nothing. Everything in my apartment is mine. Everything. I called Cafe Luz. Answered first train. They offered me a free appetizer if I would live stream from there. They are the best. Perry lies. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar. You're an absolute liar. And they're not the best. They're a bunch of they're a bunch of fucking uh, hot bikini b- bitches in in uh, a fucking place that as soon as you saw a camera, boom, they shut you out and they send you away. I called Cafe Luz. Answered first train. They offered me a free appetizer if I would live stream from there. They are the best. You're a liar. You're a liar. He called Cafe Luz and they answered on the first ring. Bullshit. Fucking lying son of a bitch. Hey, maybe uh, your next uh, subscriber Sunday call will answer on the first ring. I just sent it to you. Thank you. This is Perry Caravella Live. Who am I speaking with, please? Hey, Perry. It's Brad. How are you doing, best friend on the stream? Brad. Brad from... Yeah, we've talked a lot, Perry. This is like the fourth or fifth time you've called me. Like, I'm, I'm glad. I could use your advice from 
the best sports PI. Uh, I really like the cut of his jib. So I'm doing a fantasy football draft, and I need some input on who I should draft. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll start. Uh, Ski Skeet Caramello is with the Titans. Should I pick him? Excuse me? So Ski Skeet Caramello. Uh, Sorry, fine. How about how about uh, Tuggin' Randy Cox from uh, the TV for the 49ers? Go fuck yourself, you fucking loser. No, hey, hey, I need help. Don't ever help. say Tuggin' Randy. I got it. I got a thousand dollars on my fantasy football team. I need to pick a backup QB. Who should I pick? There's never. Don't ever say that. That I did anything like that. You son of a bitch. What? Hey, chill out. I'm just. I'm throwing out players I need right now. All right. All right. How about I? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Parents Tugmaster. He he's a, a rookie with the Bears. Wide receiver. What about the Bears? I just asked you. I, I, I've got these guys that I'm looking at t- picking up. I've got $1,000 on this fantasy football draft. And I need, you, you know, your sports PI. You know, you know these guys better than anyone. So, like, I need your input here, man. You need my input on what? Are you not paying attention? God, I'm listening to you, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, but you're uh, only using my name and you're fucking fucking uh, with my... Tom, like, Tom, I feel so bad for Tom right now. Tom, you know, Tom's been babysitting you for so long. I, I mean, like, I understand why most people like the cut of your jib, but you're really good at the cantrum lately. What does jib mean, motherfucker? Whoa! whoa, whoa. What I does jib mean or I hang the phone you know, up? Perry, for being my, what for does being jib my mean, you piece of shit? Perry. Terry, for being my best friend on the stream, you aren't being very nice right now. You're not my friend at all. No, you talk, You called me like five times. We're, we're friends now. I don't know you. So, so, so but anyways, so I've also got, um, let's see, Dan Barney. he's uh, a running back. Um, uh, Walter Balsam, he's the new wide receiver with Green Bay. What do you think? That's a lie. Well, who should I pick? I need a I need a wide receiver, and you're really good at, at you know. You should know this is a good sports DI. I don't know. I don't know. I, All right, fine. I, I, fine. I, fine. I have not checked you, you out know, the I thought players I could rely on you. I thought I thought I could rely on you. I tell you what, you know, I am concerned. I do work in healthcare, and I am concerned about how much you get up to pee. It is a lot. I'm on medication. You jag off. No, I'm drinking a lot of hate, fucking hate, water. Perry, I know some people that, you know, they've dealt with, like, um, prostate play, and they, 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 when they irritate their prostate, they tend to have to urinate frequently. Guess so, what, douchebag? Is that, douche something, is that, Go something, fuck is that yourself. something you're doing? What? Is that something you're doing, Perry? Because you, be, you might have a, a prostate that is upset or inflamed, and that's probably why you're peeing so much. I am on medication, for Especially other a issues. man of your age, a man of your age tends to have an inflamed prostate, and if you're doing like anything like pegging, you know that can tend to inflame it. Um, what the I, fuck you know, are you I would be, talking about? I, I would be concerned about that. You know, you if you're pegging, pro- prostate play, um, any finger play, um, you, you know, those disgusting. sorts of things. Wait, are you doing? You know, are you doing dogs in a bathtub? Are you we're, done. Dogs we're, done. we're done. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. Good day. We're done. And you try and stick your we're ball done. Your we're done. Sick fucking bastard. How dare you make those sick, sick, despicable, perverted remarks to me, you fucking wacko. Dumb crap. Perry, it is Jay. Please be nicer to Tom B. I'm roasting tonight, cannot afford the electric bill but want to donate to you. Hot here not using a CC, bud. You pay, uh, pay your electric bill. You want me to be nice to the Tom? I'll be nice to the Tom. I'm always nice to Tom. <laughs> no, Tom and not. I always talk. You're not always nice. I'm always not. nice to you. <laughs> okay. You've raised your voice a couple of times tonight. Uh, today. Um, well, not not you, you personally, but I mean, fuck. Sometimes it feels like it's directed at me by the the way you, you say it, but okay. Um, since you're being so nice, I'm going to give you an offer here. 
Uh, this is from Fat Kid Pass Joey. Offer, please. What? Uh, who? We're talking I hope over. It's the other. last offer. It could be the last offer. I don't have any past this. Um, Fat Kid Joey is offering thirty dollars. Now listen to how easy this is. Listen to how easy this is. To take one piece of popcorn, just one, from any tin that you have, okay, one piece, and microwave it for five minutes. That's all you got to do for thirty bucks. Why would I put the microwave on for five minutes with one piece of popcorn? Well, you're not going to eat it. You're not going to eat it. It's just Mike. Now, what you can do is you can do it for two minutes and 30 seconds, check on it, and then do another two minutes and 30 seconds. We can break it up. Super easy. It's just one That's thing of pop. That's fucking ridiculous. Right, but ridiculous is kind of uh, our thing, as I've mentioned. What? Microwave for fucking two and a half minutes? Yeah, t- and you can, you can monitor it. You can monitor it. You can monitor it, okay? I'm, I'm, yeah, it's nuts. That's that's what people come. That's why do you think people are here? You think they just want to see you and uh, you know have you tell tell them about your day, you know, uh, you know, talk about. Do, do you want to sit on here and talk about the weather and, and give the forecast? You think people are going to be engaged by that? No, ridiculousness is kind of your bread and butter. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see the colonel first. Bring over one colonel, please. Cheese colonel. Okay, that's that's your that's your prerogative. Okay, two minutes and thirty seconds. Check on, and then another two minutes thirty seconds. I'm taking the bag off the lamp. Um. Okay, you can take it off. I think that's been up there long enough. It didn't say to the end of the stream. Just yank it off. Out of the three popcorns that come in the, the popcorn tins, the caramel, regular uh, butter popcorn, and the cheese, what is your, uh, which one is your favorite one? My favorite. Yeah, I gotta say I'm a fan of that too, and I'm not a big, the biggest popcorn guy, but every now and then that comes uh, in the rotation. Butter popcorn, I'm, I'm, because I'm allergic to dairy, butter popcorn will put me on the shitter, so I gotta take my pills right away. Right. Um, Yeah, I like, I like Cracker Jack popcorn. Caramel popcorn. Is that what Cracker Jack is? It's just caramel popcorn? How's that microwave looking? Hard to tell from this angle. By the way, all credit to Perry for passing by the bathroom and not taking a sneaky pee. I was just giving you credit for not darting in there, but. All right. Well, since right, you you take an aspirin, but you still got to do the stairs on your way back because it's technically a bathroom visit, even though it's not a pee. Somebody asked, Tommy, uh, any advice on how to stop my puppy sneaky peas? Well, you know, uh, I'd recommend a leash, maybe tethered to something. Uh, a reward system should be in place for not taking sneaky peas. You know, tra- training takes a long time, as you can say, as you can see. When that stops, just put on another 230. Don't, we don't need to do a check, a spot check. Just do another 230. Tom B has never had track. Yeah, no, I never had a Cracker Jack. Isn't that weird? It's it's such a uh, an institution. I've never had a Cracker Jack in my life. Never had Cracker Jacks? Are you serious? Never, never had a Cracker Jack. Wow. I mean, I kind of figured it was caramel popcorn, but I never really knew it. 
I was never I never had a sweet tooth as a kid. In fact, I hated Halloween because I didn't like the yeah, candy, I, can, I, getting candy. Uh, it was always a, a, more yeah, of a burden. It's one of the things why I hate Halloween. Belushi Sushi okay. wants to know if your place looks more like a duplex now that you have stairs. I don't have stairs. I've I, got stairs in the complex, yeah. I mean the stairs, I behind, stairs behind... I think they're talking about the stairs behind I the mean, couch. The, the stairs no. behind your couch, I think that's what they were talking about. Stupid. Ugh. Oh, this is filthier than shit. When am I going to get around to cleaning it up? How about tomorrow? I'm out of. I'm. I'm gone tomorrow. Tomorrow Where are you Tuesday, gone? I'm gone. Where are you gone? I don't know. If I'm if I'm not surfing or skateboarding, I'm far well, away. Well, you're not going to be doing any of that stuff with your arm. So realistically, where are you going? Who knows? So you're not gone tomorrow. Probably be fucking home here. So why don't you clean tomorrow? You just said, when am I going to clean this place? I need some strength in this arm for me to clean. There's no way I can. That's clean fair. No arm. You're right. That's that's fair. That's fair. No way I can clean with no strength in this arm. Okay, you're fair. Did my, let's see. Uh, did it go off? Oh, it smells. Wait till it to go. Wait for it to go off. Don't don't interrupt it. At least the uh, plate is getting uh, it's starting to look like All right. We're all, how much how much time do you got left? There we go. Let's take a look at it. Nothing else is going in there. Do not ask for another thing in there. I didn't ask for anything else. It's just, just this. Oh, that's smoking. That actually looks pretty intact. The, the plate looks worse than the actual kernel. Right. That's interesting. You should try it without the plate. Oh, uh, no. Well, it's too late now, but next time. You shouldn't use a paper plate to microwave for that long. That's that's what causes smoke and stuff. Five minutes, exactly. Five minutes did not need to be in there. Right, but, but you shouldn't use a paper plate for that long a time. That's, that's you know, so we'll, we'll course correct that next time. We're not doing it again. We're not doing it again. We're not doing it again. Understand me? Thank you, Jay, for five subs. Thank you. Thank you for five subs, okay? Thank you. Five subs. Baby, Simone. why did you drive three hours to see some dirty Orange County whores in bikinis? Watch my highlights and imagine my hot pussy sliding on your cock. Uh, that ain't gonna happen ever. Okay, girl, you got a boyfriend. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing that to you. All right? You've got a boyfriend, remember? So don't talk to me like that. Okay, girl? Do not disrespect your boyfriend. He won't like to, he, he won't like to hear you say those things to me. Scarlett and Gina, you can see Perry Carvello is a dangerous imposter and despicable. I'm Perry Carvello and I'm on the credits you're for the Wendy Sony. You're the imposter! With a K? You're the imposter! Kook? God. You a fucking headache. And there's the Iron Sheik. You son of a bitch, join the Taliban. I gonna take the tattoo and rip it off your arm. You fuck with Mo and Drip. You fuck with Sheiky Baby. I have nothing 12, to do 12, with 21. you. 
I have nothing to do with you or the Taliban, but your uh, cute little doll is a cute little again. doll. Make it so loose that I can pop my balls in your butt. Pop, pop. What? And I'll slide between your cheeks and come on your back. Never in a zillion years will that ever fucking happen, you sick, psychopathic pervert. God, you're s disgusting. Ugh. Baby, yes. you should know that you can't take video inside titty bars. Cafe Lou is basically a whorehouse. You have bought lots of sex before, dummy. It's a coffee shop. I didn't expect it to be a titty bar. It's a, it's a coffee shop bikini bar, all right? That was what it is. Coffee shop bikini bar. Not a fucking whorehouse. Not a fucking strip club. <sighs> Whatever. Cafe Lou's is Cafe Lou's and screw them. Because I'll never go back there again. I could take a freaking uh, cell phone video camera inside Hooters and, and, and videotape inside Hooters, but I don't do that. What well, you did, you did actually with uh, Dirk, and they were super nice and cool about it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Where were we? Dirk and I. Um, Down in San Diego? Some, not, not San Diego, but yes. there. Yeah, in San Marco. San Marco, right. They, and, you were, and you were Skittles man there, and they were super cool. Right, exactly. Yeah, and they allowed us to videotape over there. Cafe Lou, yeah, they want to invite me down to fucking uh, Santa Ana and, and uh, treat me like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. I went down to see Dirk and down in, uh, um, <clears throat> down in the San Diego area. <clears throat> we went to the Hooters down by Dirk's place. And uh, I got a T-shirt and uh, a little bite to eat and stuff with Dirk and, and uh, a friend. And pff, they were very kind to us. They let us videotape inside and outside. Perry, have you reached out to Don? Have you told him you're broken and filled with hate without him? Have you missed his lips and big blue eyes? He's the one that's broke. <laughs> He's the one that's broken, filled with hate. Not me. Not me. I, I want nothing to do with that son of a bitch. And he's jealous as fuck that I have this stream and that I'm making a living now. And he's been he's been trying to get on my my uh, my uh, Twitch page for a long time, but forget it. I don't need him around. And I'm not gonna do do the stupid. Uh, uh, <laughs> All he keeps doing is trying to copy me. Nobody wants to go on his stupid channel. A fucking pathetic loser. We're done. Cafe Luz would like to clear up the incident we had with Mr. Carvelli. When he entered the building, he set off our gaydar alarm and we refused game in. Lie, 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 lie. I'm not gay. And yeah, I didn't set up the stupid alarm. Fucking bullshit, 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 bullshit. They just saw my phone, you know, and I'm I'm taping, and that's they immediately said shut it off, and then they went and erased it. Perry, have you reached out to Don? Have you told him you're broken and filled with hate without him? Have you missed his lips and big blue eyes? Well, why why are you playing this again? I, I've already seen this stupid message. Don is a fucking loser. I give a flying fuck about his, his sick blue eyes. My daughter's got prettier blue eyes than that motherfucker. Perry, 
it's me Jesus. I wanna tell you all about your jib and it's cut. Anyway I can relay a message to you on stream? Anyway I can comment and explain? What does jib mean? That's all I wanna know. Hey Perry, let's do one more subscriber Sunday call. I just sent you the number. <sighs> Fucking A. That ain't it. Okay, now let's go down here. And... Spirit Caravel Live, who am I speaking with, please? Oh, Perry, it's Jared. Ja Jared from Vegas, Jared? No, no, another Jared, but close enough. Okay. How you doing, Jared? I'm good. How are you, bud? Trying to keep myself uh, alive and happy and healthy and all that other good shit. Oh, Perry, you're going to love this because I'm, I'm so glad that... Uh... That uh, I have my kid in the car for this too, so I'm happy because hey, Jordy, we won the PlayStation. We won the PlayStation. Yeah, we won the PlayStation, didn't we? You won PlayStation from where? From from you. I'm the I, I, this means I'm the I don't know what caller, you're right? talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. What, we won the PlayStation, Jordy. Tell me what your PlayStation. No, I'm not what giving away. That's not true. It's not yeah. true. All right, well, let me, let me at least say this. If I, Perry, you're not, There is, you know, I'm not giving, I am not giving my, away PlayStations. Perry, my kid. Do you know how much that would cost for it to me to win, to just give away PlayStations? Perry, you, my kid's in the car, man. You gotta Again, give I'm not giving away PS5 PlayStations. Act on the fucking expensive as motherfucker. My son wants to swim in your pool, Perry. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. Good day. Perry, we have no PlayStation. I can't swim in your pool. Then no PlayStation. Give away, you fucking moron. All right, well, let, 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 let him at least swim in your pool then, Perry. I said no fucking way. Perry. You gotta meet me halfway on this thing. I don't wanna make the kid cry. Let him swim in your pool. Good day. Yes. There's no swimming in my pool, bitch. No video game giveaway, no pool playing in my complex. Swim in my pool. I don't know you. I didn't invite you over, especially to swim in my pool, jerky. Get the fuck out of here with this stupid shit. Fucking assholes. Tired of this garbage. Ugh. What next? Perry, please sit back. Close your eyes and say um for a minute. You're way too wound up. Tom, could you play some relaxing music too? Oh, no, no, lay back. Oh, you want me to lay back now? Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh what are you doing? What are you sleep. doing? Just say, um, just say, um, oh. Oh, it's not like I want to take a shit. Oh. Hey, stop trying to be funny. Just lay back and relax. This is a nice relaxing thing. Um. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. If you play that shit any longer on my fucking stream, I will murder you when you come to California. Turn that off right the fuck now! That's a bit much. You think I, it's the only piece of music I have in this bank. It's, it's, I'm using what I have. Let's just try it. Let's just relax. It's not music. It's noise. Boom, 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 boom. That's you, fucking you didn't even noise. Give, you, didn't, you didn't even give it a chance. It's noise, you stupid ass! All right, Belushi, I don't think he wants to relax. Sorry. I'll relax when I get the fuck off the... Off my my own stream. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, it's Jesus. If you want to know about Jeb, will explain. Hey, speaking of explaining, can you explain to me why it's so hot out? Great stream, keep it up. It's hot because of, uh, let's see, today's the one of the, it's August 29th. That's why it's so hot out. Why aren't you explaining what jib means? I told you why it's hot out. It's August 29th. Now tell me what jib means. Popcorn sun. Mm, maybe. You already did it, Perry. You can just say thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. What's up, Perry? It's Limp Biscuit's Fred Durst. Did you know I made a feedback loop with my dick in a subwoofer and a mic up my ass? You're disgusting. Why would you do something so stupid? Ugh, that's gross. Ugh. Just the thought. Gross bastard. No wonder why your band fucking sucks. Doing anything just to get hurt out there. I heard in chat that when you killed those two healthy cats, you got a boner and butt fucked one of them. You're nasty. You're disgusting, and uh, I didn't kill any animals. I paid a bill at a veterinarian, you stupid jagoff. My girlfriend and I took those two animals to the veterinarian down the street from where she lived when she lived in Hollywood before I brought her to the airport to move her back home to Florida. Stupid fuck. Oh, brother. You son of a bitch, join the Taliban. I gonna take the tattoo and rip it off your arm. You fuck with Mo and Drip. You fuck with Sheiky Baby. 12 12 21. I, nev I never joined the Taliban. I will never join the Taliban. Uh, there's nothing that's gonna happen to me on 12 12 21 other than me doing this stream. Okay? If you got a fucking problem, go fucking take it up with somebody else. And if you're talking to the Taliban, don't talk to me again. Okay? Because I'm tired of this stupid garbage about who's doing the Taliban. Fucking idiot. God damn. No doubt, you're talented. On a different note. I just got a DM from Corey Feldman inviting me to an outing at some camp tomorrow. What is that about? Richard Dreyfus, do not go to Barstow. Do not go to Barstow. Stay in the Hollywood Beverly Hills area. Do not go to Barstow. God damn. All this re ridiculous, obnoxious stupidity out there in the fucking desert. Let's do our last fucking subscriber assholes. Sunday call, Perry. And this is the last call. The last fucking call of the stream.
right? Yeah. Yeah, Cafe Lou, hold on. And find the motherfucker who posted that video. Well, who's this? Hey! 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 Why don't who's you this? answer your fucking phone normally? Who the fuck are you, you piece of shit? Who the fuck am I? You're, yeah. at, you're, you're on Barry Carabello Live on the internet right now. All right, Let's Gary, talk what about what happened to me yesterday when I came down there. All right, so what happened? I came in and I had my my uh, my video camera on my phone, and you guys said just turn it off. And then they had another a... piece of shit pervert who came in trying to film all my women. I just how long? Fuck you, man. No, fuck you. Coming in here trying to get cheap shots of my women. Cheap shots of your fuck women. You think you are I don't give a fuck, shit? motherfucker. You're never gonna have me down there again, you piece of shit. And I don't need your yeah, stupid your fucking broads. Coming on my stream or coming on my fucking uh, Instagram saying, oh, Don't come visit us at Cafe Lou. You know, after you left, I had to air my whole fucking restaurant out because you smell like shit. You smell like what? one week old dirty diapers. I don't know. Sorry, douchebag. The fuck you say to me, you piece of shit? You call me a piece of shit? You know what? Yeah, you piece of shit. You're fucking, you're fucking here, Cafe Lou can go fuck you, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. You have any tattoos, Gary? What? I said, do you have any fucking tattoos, Gary? Why? Because if you don't delete that fucking video, I'm gonna send someone down to cut your goddamn tattoos off. Good luck. Good day. I bet I know where you live, you piece of shit. Fuck with me? I'll have you fucking thrown in prison, no, you bitch. No, fuck with me coming into my fucking restaurant trying to film my girls. I just, um, there's no sign in the front door saying no cameras allowed. Go fuck yourself. Well, I'm fuck you too. I'm going to move your fucking tattoos. You Good luck, you fucking shit. cocksucker. You're not going to. Go gonna, fuck yourself. Go fuck you go too, fuck you me. cocksucker. Go, who the fuck you think you are, Gary Carabello? Like you're going to fuck with me, huh? Go fuck off. Piece of fucking you shit. call in my fucking restaurant, fucking with me, coming in, trying to film my girl. So, it doesn't say no home. cameras allowed inside now, does it, on the front door? Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, and your girls always too. inviting me on my fucking Instagram page. No one invited you, stupid. Go oh, fuck off, jag off. Go fuck yourself. Go fucking fuck prick. yourself. Fucking jag off. Good day. You're banned. No so what? Good day. And no one likes the cut of your fucking jib. No one likes the cut of my fucking jib. Oh, so they're definitely checking out my stream. Definitely checking out my stream. Fucking cocksuckers. They invited me. They've they've been sending me fucking pictures and they want me to not go there and, and then they fucking treat me like shit. Fuck them. Cocksuckers. I spent three fucking, a little over three fucking hours going there on the fucking freeway to my old neck of the woods back in uh, Santa Ana, Costa Mesa, and I get treated like that? Fuck you. Never going back to fucking Cafe Lou again. Cocksuckers. All right. Why did you start bragging about the RC incident back in 92? Nobody would know about it if you didn't brag about how great the sex with Randy was. You're disgusting, you despicable motherfucker. Disgusting. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You sick fucking lowlife motherfucker. Block that fucking name. Block him, block him, block him, block him. Block that last message that came up. Hey Perry, it's Richie Blackmore from Rainbow. Instead of air guitar, can you please do an air Randy where you jerked his cock? 
Rock on bro. Fuck off, asshole. Get over it, motherfucker. It was 1992 when that shit happened. Get over it. It's almost 2022. 30 fucking years, you fucks. Keep bringing up something 30 fucking years later. You fucking losers. Get over it already. Fucking A. I got to call it like I see it in your fake PlayStation 5 giveaway to swear of punk kids is hilarious. Maybe you're not as I'm dumb not, as you look. I'm not giving away PlayStation 5s. I never said that I was. I have nothing to do with, with uh, uh, PlayStations. Look at imbeciles. Did you see PlayStations behind me? No. Hey, Perry, guess what time it is? Hopefully time to read my fucking plugs. Hopefully. Subscribe on YouTube, Perry Caravello. Follow us on TikTok at the at sign Perry Caravello. Join our Facebook groups, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Perry Caravello. Join the Discord, Perry Caravello official bonus content, patreon.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Order a cameo at cameo.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Follow us on Twitter at P at the at sign, then P underscore C underscore L official on Twitter, as well as Scary Perry WCH on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram at Perry underscore Caravello underscore live, as well as Scary Perry WCH on Instagram. Now, if you want to send me mail, send me mail to Perry Caravello Live, 18960 Ventura Boulevard, Box 209, Tarzana, California, 91356. Thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, evening, week, whatever. That Perry just shouted Ozzy and gave a thumbs up. The Lucy. Ozzy! Ow! Ozzy Osbourne, my buddy! Give my love to the wife and the kids, buddy. Yeah, Jack and uh, Sharon. Hey, Perry, can I be the popcorn stepson? I love popcorn. It's my favorite snack. Popcornopolis has a new honey butter at Costco. Love you. Thank you, but no, you can't be uh you can't be my stepson. Not allowed. Oh, fuck. Who's this guy? It's Tina I'm in Barstow talking to Gina and Scarlett. Lord Moen has agreed to let us all fuck oh. you. Titty fuck us all. Tell Garrett I said hi. Oh my god, oh my god. You know what? Tammy Faye, you're dead. You've been dead for many, many years. You're a lying fucking tramp. If you're still alive. And uh talking to that loser in Barstow. I want all my all my girls out of that fucking uh facility out there. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Goodbye. You blew in his mouth and then stroked his cock until his semen covered your arm. That's about as gay as it gets, my friend. You should marry him. Shut up, you fucking liar! Get off my god! Get, get off my fucking... Get off my channel right the fuck now! I'm turning off the goddamn internet right the fuck now! Hang on, Perry. One one last call to end the the stream. One last call. I just sent it to you. Why? Because this this person has been uh, really being pushy. At to to be honest, this person's been really pushy about getting a call. So I I said I would. So let's oh, just get it. Bitch. I know. Yeah. Fucking a. Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Full stop. Full stop. Hold on. Uh. I might have a different San change. Diego or Palm Springs? 619 I, area code. I don't know. Why do you keep doxing people's area codes? Because it's one, what was once my area code. Right, but with every area code, 
we, every time I send you a number, you got to be like, oh, 212, oh, uh, 818, oh, so uh, you know, not. So what? It's just saying area code. I know, I know, I know, I know, but. I can't say the area code? I have a... Want me to say the whole fucking number now? No, I don't, Perry. That's doxing. I, I, I don't up. want you to dial. I don't. No, Perry, don't call, tell me to shut up. I don't want you to dial it right now because I might have another. Now, this guy, Curtis, is offering you $40 if you can call him. And I'll accept that. And then, well, so that means you're going to do two calls. I'm but, not calling anybody else. Stop. This stop. Number. Perry, stop. Stop yelling, okay? Stop yelling. Forget about the number I sent you. We're going to table that. Call this number. The one, the one I'm sending right now. This is the number to call. You're getting paid forty dollars for it. Stop yelling. It's a last minute change. Call on this guy. Yes, forty dollars for forty dollars. You can call Curtis. Yeah. Hello, it's Curtis. Curtis, Perry Carvel alive. How you doing, my friend? I'm fine, Perry. How are you doing? Staying alive, my buddy. I'm, I'm honored that you uh, sent me a beautiful uh, donation for uh, this phone call. As I end my stream, so what can I help yeah, you with, I, sir? I, 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 I apologize for being uh, pushy, Perry, but I, I did want to get through because I, I did want to follow up on our call from last week. Do you remember we talked last week? Oh, but by the way, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. When I said there was a push, when I said there was a pushy caller, I didn't mean Curtis. Hold on, hold on. Hey, tell him to stop. When I when I said there was a pushy caller, I didn't mean you, Curtis. There was somebody else that I bumped okay. for you. Uh, I, I, I didn't Tom mean to call you. Tom made a comment on, on uh, the speakers just a moment ago. And no, I, I just, I just want Curtis to know I wasn't referring to him when I said pushy. That's all. Uh, you made. I guess you made a call last week, and uh, Tom said the. That he didn't want you. Uh, um, he didn't want to refer it to you or something like that. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm so so tired. Can story. I continue, Barry? Go ahead, sir. Talk. Okay, so we talked. We talked last week. Remember okay. about about being respectful and nice to people who do nice things for us. Yes. And you have agreed uh, that you were going to try and be more respectful to Tom? I've been more respectful to Tom, haven't I, Tom? Um, uh, eh. Eh. I, 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 okay. I can actually answer that question. So I, I actually did some work this week, Barry, okay. and I tracked, I tracked every name you called Tom this week. And, uh, no, I didn't, how do you know, know I'm calling Tom these names? I'm not calling Tom these names. I'm calling you assholes that are disrespecting no, me I on the I screen. Didn't, I, 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 didn't, I didn't count those, Barry. I didn't count those. Um, you called Tom a lazy fuck? What? Do you think Tom is lazy? You called him a lazy fuck? I didn't call Tom, Tom a lazy, lazy fuck. Yes, you yeah, did, actually. On a voicemail, you did. Do you think Tom is lazy? Tom's a very busy guy. He, okay, he's got he's got more than just me to take care of. Yeah. I'm kidding people around. With real people with real disabilities have worked more than you've worked in the last decade. You don't have the right to call anyone lazy. Oh, oh, so you don't think I have a real disability? You sick fucking I, asshole. I didn't, I, I didn't. I didn't say anything about that. Uh, you also called Tom a jagoff and fucking jagoff. I say that to everybody. I say that to everybody. Do you know what a jagoff is? Do you know what a jagoff is? Well, I, I do, Perry, because if you don't know the definition of something, you can actually Google it instead of just asking your stream to tell you for, for over a week. It is a stupid, irritating, or contemptible person. Does that sound like Tom? No, that's not Tom. He's a very busy guy, okay? Do you know someone who that does sound like? A yeah, stupid, I think I got him on my, or, on my speaker right now. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, you called Tom a motherfucker 11 times, a son of a bitch 10 times, a stupid motherfucker two times, Jesus and a bastard Christ. one time. How do you know I'm talking That's to how, how do you know I'm calling Tom that rather than you fucking people that are disrespecting because me on my stream? 
Because, because Perry, in many of these cases, you actually pointed out that you were talking to Tom, and if you pointed out you were talking to the stream, I didn't count it. Okay? Tom and I argue a lot, okay? We're like brothers, okay? You do not. Do, 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 you, think, do you think that's enough? Perry, Perry, the person I hate most in the, in the entire world, I won't say his name, I have not called that person a motherfucker 11 times in my life. You called Tom a motherfucker 11, and that doesn't include the times you two times you called him a stupid motherfucker. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay. You think I'm calling Tom these names? You are why don't calling you, why Tom don't you, these why names, don't you Jerry? take it and refer it to yourself? Because I'm going to call you a stupid motherfucker for making me <laughs> fucking call you a stupid motherfucker, motherfucker. So guess what? This phone call is done. Thank you. Hey, Good hey, day. Hey. Perry, don't hang up. No, don't again. hang up. Help me. Help me with what? Yeah, I'm trying. Help me Look, fucking we're just told, tell you what. You, Perry, we're going over these things so that you'll be aware of them as you go forward and not do them anymore, okay? I'm trying to help you out here, buddy, all right? Just bear with me, buddy. okay? You're an asshole. Like you... You can call me whatever name look, you want. Look, I, look, I mean, look, I, I've look, helped, but I haven't look, done a tenth or a hundredth or a thousandth look, of what Tom has done for you. So Stoops, you can call me all the names you want. Shut up and listen to me a moment, okay? Sure. Go my ahead. family, I'm Italian, okay? And my family always calls each other names, okay? We always make fun of each other in, in name format. And sometimes we there call each come, other motherfuckers. Man. Hey, Tom has asked many times for you not to call him names and not yell at him on the stream. He asked for it over and over again, yet you continue to do it. We're like you family, also told him, you, you also told him, fuck you, 11 times. You told him to go fuck himself three times. You told him to fuck off once. You told him to kiss your ass twice. And you also threatened to fire him twice this week. Would that be a good decision to fire Tom, Perry? I'm not firing Tom, but I'm firing you. You're a loser. You're a pain in my ass, and I'm done with your stupid shit. Okay, again, this was only to help you, buddy. Just to, I just wanted to make you aware of all the Guess names what? you called Tom. If you, if Tom, you, if you want to, Tom, I'm it, sorry, Tom. If you think uh, if if you think that these these terms that this fucking monkey brain bastard. Don't call, don't call Curtis names. My face. Hey, Perry, don't call Curtis names just because he's bringing up. The okay. things he said are true. You did call me lazy. You left me a voicemail earlier in the week because I didn't answer the phone when you called. You said you're probably still sleeping because you're a lazy fuck. I mean, you did say that. Now, I think you're probably oh, oh, kidding that, around. Oh, that in my face? Uh, God. That's what you said. So don't, didn't, that's what you said. And then you did call me a lot of names. So if you're genuinely sorry, I accept the apology. I, I, because I, I don't call of course you. I'm genuinely sorry. What? And Perry, of that, course that, I'm genuinely Perry, that, that, sorry. Now it's Perry, genuinely. That's all, that's all I was trying to do, Perry. Just make you aware of what you're doing. I don't think you're aware of it in the moment. Like you said, you're Italian. You're getting a little hot. I'm just trying to make you aware of it so you can try to do a better job going forward of being nicer to Tom and you're yelling and screaming at me and calling me names. That doesn't well, sound very nice, does it? you're painting my ass right now and I don't want to hear it. Perry, you said these things, not me. I'm just reading to you what you said. That's it. You know what? Thank you. Thank you. All right. I do have one favor to ask, though, Perry. You've only been snowboarding twice. Please get that tattoo removed. Fuck you, you motherfucker. I'm going in the snow this winter. Every weekend I can possibly be in the snow. I'm in the snow. Got it? Understand? Get the fuck off my stream right now, you piece of dog shit. Fuck off and kiss my ass, you motherfucker. Remove uh, the tattoo. The tattoo's not getting you. touched. The tattoo's never getting touched. This arm will never get touched. I think you almost got every name you called Tom this week in one comment there to me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice night. Thank you, Tom. Fucking asshole. Thank you, Curtis. Get, get, get snowboard to remove. Fuck you. Your attitude towards money has become terrible. We might hire terrifying Tim instead. To make up for it, pretend to trapped in a glass box like a mime. What the fuck? That better be a joke. Your attitude towards money has become terrible. We might hire terrifying Tim instead. 
to make up for it pretend to trapped in a glass box like a mime. All right, I sent you one last phone number. This is the one you were going to call previously. So just, and this is really the end. Were you and Randy completely naked, or did you guys just have your Why pants off? Have you ever you thought about going gay again? Serious again. questions. Why did you show that motherfucker's name again? I want his name gone. Jag off. Yeah, I'm calling you a jag off. Sorry for being that pushy. fucking. Hope it was again. worth it. Thanks, Joey, Tom, and even Perry. Sorry for being pushy. Hope it was worth it. Thanks, Joey, Tom, and even Perry. You're welcome, Curtis. And I don't know if you heard me in the call, Curtis. I wasn't saying that you were the pushy one. The, the number of Perry's calling now, this was the pushy guy. I bumped him to call you. So when I said there was a pushy guy trying to get a call, I was not referring to you whatsoever. I totally appreciate you, and I would never refer to you as pushy. And I appreciate everything you said to Perry, and I appreciate the apology Perry made uh, because of your wise words, Curtis. So uh, would never call you pushy. Just wanted to make that clear. Okay, Perry, now you call this pushy guy. The guy that you're calling now, he's the pushy one that's been wanting to call all night. Okay? So let's call him. Got it. Hello? It's Perry Caravel alive. Who am I speaking with, please? Perry, it's Hero. Hero? Yeah. Hero that works for me, Hero? Hero who works for you, Hero, yeah. What are you doing, man? Hero who works for you for fucking free for 10 months without getting a fucking penny. And then gets called pushy when he calls and asks for, what the fuck is this? You're turning down people who want to give tips? Tips for Hero? You turn down Chaz? What the fuck? Yeah, you heard me. That happened two streams ago. We all saw it. I don't Chaz remember. made a I donation tip comment, $25 tips for Hero. You shot it down. You said, fuck no, no tips to Hero. That goes to Tomb, whoever the fuck Tomb is. Wait, 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 wait. Don't ever call Tom B. Tomb. That's what you said. I never said Tomb. I always say Tom you B. You said Tomb. You I said tips for Tomb. You're a liar. I would never say no, tips it for happened. Tomb. Uh, hundreds of people were watching. Everybody it's saw tips it. for Tom B, not tips for Tomb. I demand reparations. We you need to get what? eggs. You know we where you're to get you know you're talking to scumbag? I demand egg reparations, please. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. How many eggs do you have in the fridge? Not enough. Why? Not enough. That's a good answer. Well, go get them. Go no, get we're them. not going to get them. That stream is about go. done. I know it's not, but it's not done, and it's not going to be done until we're done here. I got good news for you here. Until we get this egg business out of the way, I'm not going to tell you the great news. I got it right here in front of me. Four pieces of paper. You're not going to believe. But you need to go get the eggs first. Are you there? I'm around. All right. You're not allowed to send me any more eggs. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Go get the eggs We're first. Not, you're not allowed to send me any more eggs. Why? I'm not sending you any eggs. I don't want. Well, I don't want any of your eggs. 
or anybody sending me eggs anymore. Why? Because well, they're not organic eggs. They're shit eggs. Okay, well, organic eggs only. I agree. I organic agree. Eggland's best call. eggs only. This I is what's agree. left. Everybody, everybody, you hear that? Okay, organic eggs only from organic here on Organic Eggland's best eggs only. This is eggs what's left of this of this carton. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Before we get to the eggs, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Perry, congratulations! You hit five thousand followers this week. That Thank is you. a huge milestone. Thank you. I know Tom Tom already mentioned it, but I want to congratulate you because that is honestly that is a that is huge. That is a big deal. Thank you very, and very much. And I appreciate you that. Worked, Thank you. You worked hard for it. You Thank really you. earned it. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank I you. do want to congratulate you on that. Uh, I would say we would probably be at 10,000 followers by now if you maybe, you know, uh, didn't block so many people. But, you know, that's. that's Look, your if prerogative. you're going to treat me like shit, you're going to get treated like shit in the same way. Return. Okay. Well, fair enough. And that means enough. you're going to get blocked. I, I agree. You, you call the shots on that one. Okay. okay. So what I want to do before I get to this uh, the, this big news I got here, let's talk about these eggs. So how many you got in that card? And I saw about 12. Yeah. Okay. All right. So first off, what we need to do is Woody needs a crown. Okay. So what we need to do is behind get me. Eggs. And that's coming off the wall soon. Oh, okay, okay. That's well, all coming down. We can down. talk about that later. Right we now? We can talk about that later. Woody needs a crown of eggs, please. So if you could get four eggs and write H on one egg, I on one egg, R on one egg, and O on the other egg, and you're going to put it above Woody's forehead like a crown. No fucking way! Normal? Not going to fucking happen! Out of your motherfucking mind! No, no. We're done. We're, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's There's no eggs going on that fucking wall, asshole. No fucking no. way. On the cabinet, not the wall. Above Woody's that's, forehead. Uh, that, that to me is the wall. The cabinet, the wall. No, cabinet's a cabinet. Good day. We're done. Wall. We're done. We're done. We're no. done. We're done. We're done. Good day. Goodbye. Hey, some big news here. Stupid jag off. Good news. Yeah, put four fucking eggs up on the cabinet. I'm not fucking taping eggs on the cabinet. The fucking thing's falling down now. You're fired! Asshole. Perry, you don't have to tell the 92 story. Just act it out like a mime. I'm not... I'm not doing that either, you son of a bitch! I'm shutting down the computer. I'm shutting down the computer. Tom, I'm shutting down the computer. Well, I, I, have one, I have one more offer if you want to entertain it before uh, we go. Um, this is uh, to take your shop vac, set it to the blow position, and with that new tin of popcorn you got, uh, blow it all out. Out of your fucking mind! Son of a bitch! Motherfucker! Kiss my ass! Goodbye! 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 Good so is night! That, is I'll that a no? Next week. Is that a no? That's a no! Restart! Right the fuck now! When are people gonna see us next? Uh... Wednesday. Media share Wednesday. Ciao. What? What time Wednesday? What is it, 5 o'clock on Wednesdays? Yes. You know, I think it's an easy thing to do to do the shop vac with the popcorn. Good let's night! Just, let, it's 50. Wednesday, it, 5 p.m. It's Bye. 80 bucks. You're getting 80 bucks. 80 bucks to do it. I it's, don't give a fuck. It's just, it's just popcorn. There he goes. Oh, well.